Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Why not? Smooth, I'll come in smooth. Why come in? I never came in that smooth. <laughs> Go ahead. Boy, oh yeah, boy. <laughs> You know my dad all going. I don't want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, I mean all, all. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We pop up everywhere. But if you want to see us, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it. We're on it. Threads. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals. And I'm, we know you're going to you're going to subscribe because you love the content. But more than subscription, we need that membership. How you get to our membership is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section there's a link that says join our membership click that link takes you through the process thank you in advance thank you for all the love and support because we're going to keep grinding and keep giving you this content every day well here we go again we got a guy here he don't really need an introduction well you see him on here quite often you know i got my pics you know in the city i know y'all see what's going on you know what i'm saying this guy right here will be on here quarterly if not monthly um he goes by the name of Half Pint Films, guys. What's up? <laughs> Look at that half pint still. <laughs> no, but Shit. no, I was mesmerized by the like he run he like he vote like he running for president or something. Like, yeah, yeah vote for I me. I just want to say y'all are getting real good at this intro stuff. That's her. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the YouTube video when y'all hitting that. And I have another special guest here, guys. Um, I think. Uh, let's see. She been in Dallas a while. A lot of people mad because she say she claimed Dallas sometime from what I'm hearing. Or they think she feel like she can just be come up in Dallas. A lot of people don't like it. So we gonna you have to show us. <laughs> Emma Realist is in the building, guys. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Emma Realist, I'm going to be honest with a lot of people, man, that uh, I don't know how you done it. A lot of people had not been able to get on Boss Talk 101. They complain about me here in Dallas. But you call simply. And it made it happen. It was all you. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm like, <laughs> you know, I, I use my connections the way I need to. You know what I mean? Let's get it, baby. Talk to Amaryllis for me. So, Amaryllis, you were born and raised or in New York? Mm hmm. What part? Brooklyn. Got 100 grand with 100 clips, yeah. nigga. I'm from New York. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I see this song every time you see her. Every time. It can be coming in. Who knew? Ronnie. Ronnie. Really? Yeah. 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 That exact yeah. one. Yeah. That's my new. Yeah. That's my new. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. That's crazy. <laughs> but I ain't even know. <laughs> So it was like growing up in New York, in Brooklyn more than anything. Brooklyn, else. where Brooklyn at? Brooklyn is a mini Caribbean. So like that's why I asked you so much questions about like you being in Dallas. Uh huh. Just Jamaicans, Bayesian, Trini, whatever you could think of. So it was like growing up in a little island, right. almost. Uh huh. Um, but it was the shit you see on TV and the shit you don't see on TV. Was, so why don't we see on TV? Um, I think, well, I mean, there are some films that try to capture it, like Paid in Full and those type of things, but I think that when you think of music, people think that New York is Times Square, mm -hmm. and it's like, what? Like, people that are born and raised in New York don't even hang out in Times Square. We don't even go to Times Square, so. Well, who are all them damn people down there? Tourists? A bunch of mother mm -hmm. from Dallas. <laughs> 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 nah, it be a bunch of tourists. Yeah. Like, tourists, tourists, tourists. And people that gotta go to work, you know. People yeah. that gotta, you know. Well, so where you walk, hang hold out, on, hold on, let me tell my story about Times Square when that woman, you know, shifted on you around that hole. Go <laughs> that was Times Square? That was going toward that way. We yeah. went, uh, um, a woman fell. And my wife, oh, let me help you up. That woman got up, ain't said nothing, just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she didn't say nothing. I said, damn, that's how they get out of here. Yeah, because York, people don't out. help people up and all of that. Like, we watch people get hit by a car oh in front my of my God. mom. <laughs> and nobody helped this lady. This lady was like 90 years old. Oh, y'all They didn't even dirty. call the police. My sister had to call. They like, my sister like, yo, she's 90 years old. Like, somebody help her. <laughs> New they York. Like, they were stepping over her. Yes. That's messed up. That yeah, is crazy. Why yeah. is New York like that? I think it's just oversaturation. Like, I sometimes I'll be wowing paint because I'll be telling him, like, I learned to use the train when I was eight, nine years old. You know, yeah. our parents don't be having cars and all of that. So 
it comes from that you having to just exist on your own so young and transport on your own and do all of that stuff and I think you get so you saw all those people to where you like I'm not about to keep saying so excuse eight, me nine years old you were traveling on the train by yourself by myself yeah to school to school Mm-hmm. Wow, I, w- I was uh, hot, late forties and scared as hell on the train. <laughs> <By> t- yeah, <laughs> I ain't touch the train till I till I went to New York. That's what I'm telling you. I went down on the that. ground. I was like, what's, what's the craziest the hell? thing you've seen on the train ever? I've seen a lot of crazy things, but the craziest thing was. Um, I was getting off the train on Broadway Junction. So Broadway Junction is a train stop in Brooklyn. That's like infamous because you could catch like direction to go anywhere mm-hmm. pretty much in New York. And it was a guy slicing people faces. Now, I don't know how he was able to slice like three people face and nobody noticed until this lady started screaming. I'm literally coming from school. I'm in high school. And we just hear this lady. I mean, the most horrific conjuring scream you could think of. She's like, ah, like holding her face. We see blood in her hands. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking a bus. It's going to take me an extra 20 minutes or so. But Damn. fuck it, I'm taking a bus. Why not? And he, she was the third person. She was like the second or third. Yeah, it was multiple people that realized after the fact that he cut them. Yeah, it, yeah. I want to know the Jamaicans be saying, that. Jamaica, yeah. Jamaicans I, be saying, if you have like a knife and you put, I think it's garlic, you rub garlic on the knife, I can cut you, you won't even feel it. He, he did something, something because multiple people he sliced multiple and, people yeah. just walking up the stairs slicing people just random yeah. people and they random people and they did not know until yeah, you the, ain't gonna the feel lady I guess too. she felt like saw the blood and she started right. screaming once she started screaming it was so crazy because nobody reacted we all just went to the bus <laughs> Boy, them New Yorkers. Boy. Wow. <laughs> we just went to the bus like this. Shit Are you serious, so, man? Like that's why yeah. you know that's why I stay in now New Jersey when I go up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yeah, a great I, choice. Stop playing. Mm-hmm. Also, but it's I different. I just now. drive over and you know it ain't no different. No, <laughs> no, hell, no. I just left. It is not. <laughs> you different. just haven't seen anything. Cause you don't. Yeah, ride you don't no even more. be up there like that no, no more. No, I go so, every two, three months. But it's just because the evolution of me as a kid. To oh, people could walk their dogs two in the morning. Hmm, oh, this no. is new. It's this different. this wasn't something. It was a after nine ten p.m. If you wasn't from over there, bye bye. Man, what would happen to a person who is not? They would get robbed for sure. For okay. sure, you gonna get robbed and whatever else they. I'm gonna be honest. I don't with know. You know, every time okay. I hear your voice, you sound like you from New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the the hardest female, latest female from New York, Scarlett. Scarlett. Shout out Scarlett. Shout out Scarlett. <laughs> And I'm yeah, a fan. Was, yeah, let, let, what do you think about her and the, the way she she delivering? Like, she deliver like a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> I think Scallop is everything that that people be acting what? like females don't need to Tell be me, like. Come on, I get him tonight. <laughs> so, were you raised? Who? Because I heard you mention your mom was taught you how to, you know. But was your dad in the household with you as well too? No, my dad wasn't in the household. So my mom was married to mm-hmm. her husband. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, no, my dad wasn't in the household. Hold on, you repeat that again. You said your mom was married to her husband, right? My but stepfather, that, stepfather. But he's not my real father. Oh, so how, how old were you when they got married? I was a baby, baby, like two years old. Yeah. So okay, so he came after your dad, but your dad left. So was your dad in your life? Yeah, my dad was in my life. Okay, my good. dad. So my dad was Panamanian, but he was raised by Bajans. Okay, so my dad was real mean stern strict you know so i like my mom a little better i'm like she a little more americanized he he over here like too mean with it so yeah i didn't i didn't enjoy it until i got older hanging around my my father but how was your stepdad though were you one of those kids like you can not my daddy you can't tell me none no because he caught me so young so i never challenged him with the you ain't my daddy um, and he was there, birthdays, holidays, you know, he showed up and he, he tried to be a real dad, you feel what I'm saying? So I always respected that about him. But what I appreciated about my mom was my mom never forced me to act like he was my real father. Okay. Good. That's what I loved about it. Like, come on, don't, don't, let's not play that delusion game. But yeah, but my mom was, you know, but my stepdad, yeah. Was your mom who introduced you to music? Like, was she always jamming like all the music? <sighs> When you were with her, and that's no. how you got a love for it. And no. how did you find the love for no. it? No, it's so you. So New York is a place where music is versatile. Mm-hmm. Soca, you got soca, you got reggae, you got hip hop, reggaeton. So I think I just fell in love with just seeing people have fun, seeing okay. people like turn up. I guess. Um, so that's what I fell in love with. But when my mom found out I was rapping. I wanted to shit on myself. Oh, how old? Yeah. How old were you? 
The first, okay, the moment that my mom heard me rap for the first time was in like 2019. How old were you at that time? Uh, I was early 20s, so maybe like, uh, maybe really? 22 or something like that. Was she, was, was she, you were still staying at the house? No, I was already in Dallas. Okay, so what's she talking about? What's she talking about? She was like, I like it. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> she probably been like, I sure wish my daughter would have been Lil' Kim or Yo, Foxy Brown. Mom, or no, <laughs> my mom, I think my mom wished I would have been a nun. My mom's a minister. So yeah, she, I, yes, so I was oh, like, you got a PK kid yo, in there, and yeah. she loved it. Oh, she loved it. Hell. She and you loved, was cussing and going cursing, off and doing talking all about this. coochie popping that coochie popping. His mommy said she loved it. She said she don't care what the church people of them gotta say. Wow. That's what she said. She you right. Right. Where's she you from? Going? She's from Panama. Oh, she Her is mom Panamanian. is Jamaican. Okay. I can hear Her that shit. Her dad's from you. Colombia. You okay. speak Spanish? Mm -hmm. I knew it. I could yeah. tell. I could hear that shit. Fluently. I'm decent. Because if my mom <laughs> see this, she gonna be like, "Stop lying to them people. You can't write in Spanish." <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm you telling me that you who influenced you in New York? Did anybody influence you like Roxanne Shante, uh, any of the old heads? You know what I'm saying? Or Foxy Lil Brown, Kim. Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj. Absolutely. Who was it? Um, the first fem the first female era I fell in love with was like Lil Kim, Foxy. Uh, Missy Elliott, Queen Latifah, those are like, that's my start. I'm like, okay, I like this shit. I like they sound. I like they, they aura, what they talking about. And then we transitioning me more into like high school and me building my sound and actually trying to write music. Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma. So now I'm Remy tapping Ma. into rappers like that and I'm like, holy shit, these bitches are hard. Like, Damn. you know. Remy yeah. Ma. Remy Ma. Loved her. Yeah. Loved her. What happened to Papoose? I mean, <laughs> God damn. Let's be real here, bro. Ah, Remy. Ah, That's the word you tell me. Remy. This ain't got nothing to do with me. I mean, a nigga was down now at child time, count time, trying to be a good man. Every day visiting on, is crazy. So look, how long did Remy Ma go to jail? About five years, it seems. No, so she good. was there seven, seven years. years. He held her down. Do you think he? You don't think? You don't think? Pepper? I don't think. I seen what happened. I don't have to think. I seen him going down there. I seen him when she went out. He could have supported her, but I he still could have. He was hey, having fun. That. Did you see that nigga having fun? No. Okay, man. Give, <laughs> give it up, black man. Don't if he cheat. Was doing black man, don't was kicking cheat. Her out. I'm with you, brother. Quit hating on the black man because he don't cheat. You right. What you tripping on? <laughs> Black <laughs> man don't cheat. <laughs> what you tripping on? <laughs> so, so basically. You telling me that you rock with people who do things that are not correct to their the person that wait on them for seven years? Yeah, I Damn. guess so. I guess so. That's people cool. are people, and people have their own personal. You just like I respect her music. the craft. I respect the craft. You, yeah, that, I get it, man. Yeah, because she definitely dope. You know, um, they might end up back together. I don't really know. I'm not. I'm with. They were just at a party together a couple days ago. Okay, yeah, man. You know, it hurt me too bad, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what did you think when you first heard Scarlett? I, I had to go back to her because that's my dog. I love, I love what she did does when she, you know, going that mode, that old New York sound she got mm -hmm. going right there. But yours is a little different. I heard your songs too. You, you more, you know, you the contemporary style. You know what I'm saying? So, but what do you think about that rawness, man? That I think that rawness is hard. I was saying like Scarlett confirmed what I knew years ago. And years ago, when I when I first started like putting my sound down, people used to say, relax your sound, relax your sound. And I used to tell people like, I don't have to rap in the same sexy voice as every other female because somebody's gonna come in and somebody's going to bring that rough shit and they gonna win. Right after I said that, here comes Glorilla. A little after her, here comes Scarlet. These are the things I manifested and I knew that the game needed. So I love that for them. I love them for affirming what I knew, which was that hard talk was going to come back in style. I knew it. Wow. Um, you know, you, you absolutely correct. It's going to stay. Everything what goes around. I was wearing bell bottoms last week. And I wore you know, bell bottoms, and, and, but I'm caught. But they calling them something else. Yeah, I got some they, on right they, now. What do they call? Stack uh, jeans. Stack, they're not. Yeah, they're I, bell bottoms. I got some on they're, right I now. I had them on, I had on yesterday. Shoe. You know, the purpose of us going to the jogger and the skinny was to show our shoe. Yeah. Now they decide they're gonna hide this damn shoe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's hard to keep up with. Yeah, I don't like, know. Dang, you know, I gotta like, spend twelve fifty on the shoes just to cover them. Right, I'm wearing skinny jeans. Oh, come on now, skinny you know jeans. <laughs> so, like, what made you? Uh, let me go to. Let me go. This nigga right here. Hold on. <laughs> Shit right here. Got it right there. Mm-hmm. So you are managing Amaryllis. Mm-hmm. What made? What did you see in her? Because let's just be honest. Let's be clear. Uh, you've uh, you've had a lot to do with a lot of people's success, mm-hmm. and I say that to say Yellow Beezy, uh, Erica Banks. You've touched on a lot of different big X to plug. What what did Amaryllis show that made you say? I you know I want to I want to manage her charisma, okay. Some personality, some uh. I just felt like she was a star. Like everywhere, not even when I, the first time I met her, it was like she had a star presence. But like everywhere I go with her, everybody always say this. So I'm like, I felt like it was the right thing. I felt wow. like she was a star. And did you get your paperwork right? We working on it. We working on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's always the, that's, that's always the crazy. important question. <laughs> no, because I've seen I've on. seen some things happen in your career that kind of shifted things for you. Of, of course, in a mighty way, you know. As you see one go up, and your platform is being used, and you're being a part of someone's success, and all of a sudden, boom, the big boys come in, and they boom, they career change, mm-hmm. and you was at ground level with them, and. You're not with them anymore after that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I have to say that. You know me. People know me that has been on this show. Uh, shout out to BC. Shout out to who else? Who all them been on here? It's I been a you. litany of them. I mean, everybody <laughs> that bring an artist on here, I make them sit right beside them on Boss Talk. I'm too old school for everybody. Know. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. <laughs> you gonna, paying, boss. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're going to have to. You're going to have to show that you guys are working together for me to be having you on my show. Yeah. Because I don't like being a part of nothing. I want them to see the whole developing picture. Mm-hmm. For some reason, authentic, authenticity and realness, it always lasts. Yeah. When it's closed, that when it's career. Go you see what I'm saying? So when you keep it 100, then I feel like it's going to be something that it, it, people can value. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The story is even told in a better way. For sure. And then when the breakup happened, that's even good. If they was there and then they broke up and yeah, she left his ass and signed papers and now she over with 1501. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> She's over with. <laughs> She's back in New York and she signed to uh, uh, Meek Mills. Anybody, you know, <laughs> he in Philly, but he came up to New York to sign her. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But half pint had her first. See, yeah. I don't see no pictures of uh of uh what's that girl name? The white girl from uh, August, uh Australia. Oh, Ooh. um Iggy is that? Iggy is I don't see no pictures of her and Wino together like that. Who's that? Who's Wino? Why oh, they don't know. Why that nigga I thought T.I. put on. I thought so too. I'm a historian. <laughs> I told you niggas. Run me down. I'm about to say I don't know. Yeah. Look up Wino. Wino was. Wino was before T.I. You would have never knew hey, that. They always see the person, the, 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 the mainstream one, yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and that that's what I'm telling you. like Nicki Minaj and Fendi. You don't know. See what I'm saying? But, I you mean, see what Fendi kind of different, though. Because he made a name for himself, but it wasn't. Yeah, because Fendi, Fendi's, Fendi's big enough to where... I think he's so, he's big enough to where he don't want the credit, but niggas know what's up. Niggas want the credit. You know? Oh, yeah, but Fendi, Fendi, uh, Fendi a street nigga, though. You know? Yeah, but he still want the credit. Yeah, Everybody but he probably get credit. the credit. He not gonna say it. He probably get the credit. Oh, he said it. He went on Breakfast Club. So he said. went on there. And oh said yeah, it. this was a long time ago. That's how I even know who Big Fendi is. Yeah, because he went on Breakfast Club. He wasn't even. He was there with another artist. He was with. But that's what I'm saying. For him, them to even down. bring him up there, like they that's, didn't that's bring huge. him. That's you know huge. what I'm saying? Like they bring they brought him up there because he gets respect, and that's on like he gets respect in New York. He don't have to get credit. Yeah. People know what he do. Well, you know that's yeah. like me, but shit, niggas still want the credit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Motherfuckers know, know what I do, but shit, I want I but, want you to go everywhere but and say that. That's I did on this. your personality. You just yeah. want validation. You know, I think anybody should get. I mean, you shouldn't have to want it. It should be given. It should be a right. exactly. respect. But I, one but thing you given, said on this show it. that may I'll never forget. You said you don't want to be with nobody if they don't really want to be with you. Exactly. If you if you're not loyal, I don't want to be a part of what you're doing anyway. Correct. And you know what goes up. Must. <laughs> and I down. always do. And I'll meet you while I'm going up when you're coming down. <laughs> and I always do. Right? Mm-hmm. But, but, like, what what do you mean? Like, like 
What is loyalty? Well, you know, you wouldn't have been on Boss Talk today. No, 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 no. I'm no. very difficult to deal with. You know what I'm saying? But because of him and my relationship with him, that's why I brought you on the show. Because he knows me. He knows my wife. I'm very comfortable with interviewing him. He said, you got to interview my artist. I say, what? He said, I said, you got an artist, nigga? <laughs> you know, you don't be doing shit. You don't sign papers. You <laughs> and he was like. Crazy. He was like, <laughs> That's nuts. And he say, yeah, I'm bra- yeah, I'm going to bring her. I said, okay, that'd be great. And that's that's what I'm saying. And now you're here. Boom, you blow up after you leave Boss Talk because somebody, who seen her? Anybody? One of these niggas seen her. Jay who, Prince. Jay Prince seen her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One of these uh, QC seen you. He calls you up. We got to sign them papers. Don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga. We don't want. We don't want half pint. The half pint has never went with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And then that's where the Lord to come. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. He helped me to get seen like that. Yeah. So I'm not fit to just dog him out. Like that, that level. You see what I'm that saying? That level of loyalty that you're talking about is going to depend on that person's character, upbringing, stuff like that. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? That's so it's true. like. To think because you put somebody on that they're just going to give you your credit or because you put them in the right rooms, you shot some videos, you're going to get the credit. No, that person has to feel (laughs) that person has to feel like, okay, I've been taught to give gratitude to people that do right by me. I've been taught to hold down who hold me down. If you don't feel like that, you don't move like that in your normal life. Why are you going to move like that with music? I agree 100 percent. That that don't make. So what she's saying, you should have seen that come a mile away. Yeah. That's that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. You, you ain't no seeing it. Everybody, everybody cool until <laughs> like that. But also, not putting anybody on papers is your own fault. Definitely. Though. But Most Sean, definitely. Sean Cotton said something very, 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 very potent on this show. Potent. Did you see? I said you don't though. know nobody <laughs> till they got money. What do you say, baby? You don't know people until they get money. I agree with him 100. Yeah. For sure. You never know nobody until they get money. Yeah. Is that true? Hell yes. <laughs> but then also, Hell yeah. but also where Hell the, yeah, where the loyalty true. and all of that is concerned too, a lot of times when people have friends, girlfriends, or even, I think you should treat your business relationship the same way too. When I say that, meaning, you know how if you're dating somebody, like, let me meet your mama, let me meet your daddy, let me see how they interact with each other. Let me see how, you know, mm-hmm. the upbringing so I know how you are. You wear your, because people can fake and shake all they want if you didn't meet their family. Yeah. They can but pretend to be right this, can pretend to be they that. Do, that's an intelligent person. That's not a, you see what I mean? That's not average. The but, average is But in business, do people don't do that. Yeah, business don't, no. be, don't be like, okay, let me see your mom, let me see your upbringing because literally, you can fake and shake right here in front of me and pretend to be this loyal person, this, 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 whatever for the longest. Yeah. But then your mama not loyal, your daddy not loyal, and whatever. You've been raised around this. This is in you. Right. Yeah, or you disrespectful to your parents. And wow. Of course you ain't going to respect me. You disrespectful to your parents. Right. I got, yeah. I got to ask you something, Half Pain, because I was in, what was we at? We was in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. I think we was in Vegas, and I was, I really, I, I felt something was going wrong in Texas. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> my, in, my skin started itching. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why am I. My left eye jumping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I looked on the internet and I seen they was having a meeting. <laughs> and they invited everybody to come to their meeting in Dallas, Texas. And they left Boss Talk ass out. Oh, well, you ain't missing. Hold on. Hold on. And, and <laughs> you ain't you was there. I was there. Hold on. Let me, let me stop you. Let me get this shit out, man. Okay, go ahead. And I <laughs> Seen, but the this best is therapy for him. Yeah, right now. The <laughs> best thing that I seen, the most important thing for me, when I seen y'all doing this private affair <laughs> with Yellow Beezy, was that you was sitting there in the same room, same setting with Sean Cotton, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed that because y'all both my guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I rock with Sean Cotton. And I rock with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, dang, that's good, man. I know that that that's that's gonna be a good meeting regardless to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So tell me, did the video, did the film ever come out? No, it ain't it haven't came out yet. I heard it might not. Uh, shit, I feel like that too. <laughs> why I did you like why that. do you feel like that? Because uh, it ain't came out yet. But I also will say he just dropped some shit that he did 
before we did that too. So I don't know. It could be still coming. I think he'll put it out. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. I think I don't he know. will. I think maybe if Yellow do something right now that. I feel like he should have put it out when that white boy ran up on right, Yellow. I right, feel like that would have been the perfect time to put it I out. I was told by somebody that's what make it make no sense now because of what was said. I don't know what was said in y'all's meeting. It wasn't like it's like a that being being that little incident there caused may have caused a rollback or something. Fuck no, that it, man that would have been perfect because he was talking about shit like that in the interview. He was telling because Yellow was asking him basically like. Why you never post me and shit? And basically, oh. Sean was saying you never do nothing for me to post. Why you never so, post me? Boss talk post your ass a lot of times, <laughs> my nigga. You know they only no, care no, about no, no, no. Boss only care talk. about who they care about. <laughs> yeah, Boss talk posted that ass for many days. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, and he got a lot of views. A <laughs> lot of them. Me and Hot Boy West went crazy. Then we bay. We yeah. we went crazy. Me and Hot Boy West went crazy. They you know what I'm saying? But I just always show exactly. love to all the artists, and not just him, but everybody that was doing music in Dallas. If you really go back and look at our interviews, you gonna see me adding those video clips, just mm -hmm. showing their new music. Yeah, nobody was doing that when I started doing that, and I know that. You know, that not in the city because they weren't showing love like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I tried to show love to everybody: Trap Boy, Freddie, Mo Three, everybody, bro. Yellow. Uh, I didn't really show a lot of love to Go Yeah Yo, except for I think I played the pick, th pick whatever. What year did Boss Talk come out? Um, three story? years ago. Three years ago. Oh, yeah. January, yeah. three years Yeah Yo ago. was in jail. It don't matter. I still was showing love. He supposed to be in a few of them clips. I bet you I got some on him, though. I, I, cause I, I, somebody said something about yeah, it. Yeah, and, sure. and I showed the video or whatever. Yeah. That's what I do. You know, I always show love to the artists here in Dallas and other places, even in New Orleans, love Boss Talk. You know what I'm saying? Because you show love to the work mm -hmm. y'all doing. Just like when I talk to you about your music in a minute. I've already looked up your music. You got some good music. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, you guys coming together like that, I think that's dope for the city. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm an older nigga, so I really wasn't really into it like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all was going through. Y'all the niggas that was out there <laughs> doing the videos and hanging out in, <laughs> I don't go with y'all. Yeah. I don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in Vegas and Cali. We was in Cali, then we went to Vegas, but I seen that video come across uh, a, a little clip ad of you guys all in the same room. Yeah. Shout out to Terry Blue too, that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All y'all was in there, it seemed like y'all was having a unified movement moment. <laughs> yeah, that shit was really a, a yellow beezy intervention. Oh, what? That was mostly about yellow. It wasn't, I mean, we got, we got around. Y'all didn't get to say nothing? Got, no, I no, couldn't have been in that goddamn meeting. No, well, no, we got around for sure. No, everybody was talking. I, I barely was talking. I'm the one that was the most quiet in the interview. Yeah. I just said my piece when my time came up, but it was mostly about what Yella got going on with them, for real. I yeah. was just there because, you know, I'm always in the middle of some shit. Well, it's a good... I mean, we, we all grow. Of course. We all growing up. Yeah. You know, you the niggas who be mad ain't getting no money. I'm just going to say that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Niggas getting money, they traveling and kicking it and having fun. Traveling, being real. Yes, yeah, yeah. Cause right? I remember, I, I be mad in the motherfucker when I'm broke. Exactly. As long as I get some money, I, you can't tell you me that. I'm happy and I'm mad. happy. So at the end of the day, <laughs> that's a good thing, man. Shout out to Yellow Beezy, man. I hope he do everything that he trying to do in his life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And free trap boy Freddie, free right? Trap. What What's else? Up? Who else is it? So I'm a realist. She um, went right on off this shit. I'm going to tell you something about my wife. She could care less about this. Uh, All she care about. Too. I feel it, yo. She from Jamaica. She don't give a damn. She don't give a damn. I feel it. I don't give a damn about this shit no more either. I'm trying to talk about the rest of the world. So um, how long you been in Dallas? I've been here a minute. How long is a minute? Um... I made the official move to stay here for real in 2017. 2017? Yeah. So why Dallas? What what about Dallas that you love so much? Or maybe you have family here. Uh, I don't have any family here. Dallas was just somewhere like I just started like corporate jobs, my professional career. I worked a lot here. Just Oh, you so you've been back and forth here a lot? Yeah. Before that time? Yeah, before that time, yeah. Okay. So I just... um. I just started building a career here. Just started building mm -hmm. my hustle, started getting my own career, my own hustle on here. And once that started happening, I'm like, I ain't going back. And she so, went to college here. Don't forget that part. Mm -hmm. Can't forget that part. Okay. Yeah. What college did you go to? To Paul Quinn. Man, okay. that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Then what you, you study? Hold on. Paul what did you? Quinn. What the hell did you study? <laughs> I studied uh, business management. Here we go. And I minored in legal studies. Yeah, she ain't gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like she done. Not you gonna be a paralegal? No, so I interned at Frank Crowley. I was supposed to go to law school, but this is what I chose. So you want to rap? Yeah, man, ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody trying to get in, but I think 
Now it's just going to be, and, and you know, this is why the old head stuff come in. Now it's going to be a thing. It's really not about rap. It's not about the music as much as it's about the brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. It can come either way. You know, it, it, I mean, this nigga do short films, movies, all type of stuff. Get creative in that space. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If I was going to be wanting to say, don't get caught up on the music and um, the music alone. There's a whole litany of things that you should oh, be man, doing. Oh, man, we talk about you know that all saying? day. We talk about... Me wanting to get in films and voice yeah. acting, and well, you know, we talk about stuff just off based off my personality, not even just. Well, you no, know. don't talk about it. Be about it because this nigga got a cameras and shit. He know how to do that. <laughs> oh no, he he know how to do Jesus, it. Jesus, he a bunch of talk. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. oh, oh. oh. Y'all heard it first at bus Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he a bunch of talk. I get it, but yeah. nigga have did some films and did some oh, stuff. Oh my nigga, so let's get up and make some real content. Okay, listen, uh, listen, oh, here we go. Problem. Here we go. Listen, listen, here we go. No, no, no. Listen, let's get into it. So I got time today. I'm trying to get into this content shit. You know, I came in the game. You do one music video, and you, you know what I'm saying? It go from there. Yeah. Now the music video. Music videos barely even matter anymore. Let's say uh, that. Uh, well, I don't agree with that. Music videos barely matter. I don't agree with that. Why? Because if you wrap it up correctly and serve it correctly, it can serve a purpose that some people, exactly. when you look at, like if I see For Kiki sure. or anybody come out with their project, if they have a Kiki, my nigga, uh, little Kiki, he Lil just Kiki, left yeah. here. He, he, you might not know, he from Houston. Oh. And they look Kiki. Okay. But anyway, when I see them roll out their projects, and he's got a litany of fans as well, just like, uh, who else? Shout. PGF Shout. I just interviewed him the other day out of Atlanta. When they roll them out and put them videos and everything and that music and all that, they trying to push the narrative. If it hit right, you telling me that that, that music video don't matter. If it yeah, hit right. But there's a lot of times, there's a lot of hit songs right now where the music video didn't even matter. It's the content that was online that... I agree with that. It's a lot of times, it's a lot of songs that I know word for word I've never seen a music video to. I just hear it all the time Cause the on social media. TikTok. TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube got it going. Instagram, everything. It's, it's everywhere. Content. It's and getting creative constant. with that content, It's never right? just that one piece of content. It's always something extra that I has to go with it. I think it's all got to be wrapped and up. Yeah, you got to do it. I think oh, I do that's, it all. And that's yes. what I have a problem with. That's what I have a problem doing. Just like the consistent. I can do a fuck out of music video. I can do a music video like a motherfucker. The everything else that you're supposed to you do around do it now. Dance, when dude. I told him let's do the TikTok, no money, no money. Yeah, yeah, he didn't want to do it. Yeah, he didn't want to do it. I See? said we gonna set a doobie in every room, and you gonna walk in and go, no money. Yeah, he couldn't do it. He didn't want to do, do it. That nigga lame. That's lame. Lame. <laughs> lame. I don't even know you how you want to play it again. Exactly, exactly. You could have just. Yeah, that nigga yeah, lame. Man, man. Yeah, because yeah. he, he too busy to trying to stay in the old way of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to figure out a way to hold that, that on to that video. That's a thrill, you man. That guy, you got to let that shit go, y'all. You want to know what switch it up? I know what it is, yeah. I know what it is. I don't blame you, man. Like So, so the one thing I can tell you is I had a guy on named Lefty Gunplay. He was interested in a lot of different things. But one thing he said to me, and I, I didn't have a lot of answers, which he said, how many Hispanic, didn't he say, how many Hispanic, and I, I lost it for a second, how many Hispanic artists have you had on Boss Talk 101? And I just remember Brown, because that's my boy, mm -hmm. is Brown, but I, it was more. You know, artists could be a litany of things. Prophecy Film been on here. A um, lot of different, who Hispanic, I know we got people in Houston that's killing it, mm -hmm. Mexican OT, <laughs> and uh, and I had Baby Youngin on here, but anyway, who's killing it in the, in the, in the uh, you know the Rasa, you know, and that's what they say, who's killing it in that in that area in Dallas? Ben, in Dallas, Mexican. yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amarillis, <laughs> no, nah. yeah, oh. that's it. She can, go, she can go that way too, right? Yeah, she, yeah, she can go that way too. Bro, when I be trying to rap in Spanish, you don't be supporting. <laughs> I support it. I just don't know what she's saying. <laughs> But I agree. <laughs> so you gotta support that shit. That's how Cardi B yeah. popped off, nigga. She know how to go in. <laughs> but uh, in Dallas, Mexicans in Dallas. Um, oh, it's a hard nigga. Uh, hold on, wait. Let me remember his name. Let me remember his name. Yeah, I know he was doing reviews. Uh, hold on, cause this nigga was hard. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up for you. <laughs> well, right I, now. I, I ain't need gonna to take see it. I too. need to see it, baby. I, I ain't been, gonna take. I'm gonna try to get that on. nigga on here. <laughs> so I'm going that right. way. And that's the market you really need to be. I gotta leave. I, I hate to leave all my brothers. I love y'all, brother. All the young brothers. Come on now. We, 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 you gotta, you gotta show me some love over Tap here, boss. Hey, 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 hey
Benji's. Drew Benji's. Shout out to hard. Drew Benji's. He hard. Man, Shout out to Drew the Mexican Benji's. community. You need to rock out with a Ralph Barbosa and try to get over there. That nigga has got a lot of fans. If you can do something with him, you'll you'll be on fast. I need to get you on boss talk. Who is Ralph Barbosa? That's the baddest comedian in Dallas. Oh, right? Ralph, Ralph. Okay, That's yeah, my yeah, boy. Yeah, he yeah, followed yeah. boss talk. That's a, he's a he's a I'll good be guy. He from Dallas. Yeah, too. he is, and he, he be everywhere. He he travel a lot. Yeah, yeah. He I hard. talk to him every time. I'm, I'm in California. I'm in California. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck. Yeah. I was up there. He's super you know what I'm saying? Be like that. So you got some good talent here, man. What's going on? I mean, uh, Jake Paul is going to fight Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Mike is old. Yeah, I'm about to say Mike how, yeah, say how you feel about that. Because Mike, Mike Tyson. Old. Is, he's still going to knock that nigga out. Shit. Just because he's from New York, baby. Don't come here. <laughs> I'm saying that nigga from that nigga Brownfield Jake Paul or whatever. That nigga, Mike that nigga ate somebody ear. Y'all home. talking about the wrong nigga. Y'all think, playing with the wrong nigga. First think of all, he going to see Jake this Paul, clip and he going to fuck up. He's going to knock too. Mike Tyson the fuck out. No. He's old. He's knock old him out. Shit. He's probably eating air chips for fucking you think training. Niggas was knocking Mike Tyson out at the end of his career. How much did he, he pay? Ain't that hard to How knock much out? did they pay? Huh? He ain't getting knocked out. How much did they pay that nigga for this fight? That's what I'm trying to say. A lot. They had to. For the fight, and then you gotta factor in what Jake Paul is paying him personally to Just knock to him get out. That fight, no, to knock him out. Who he paying that nigga? You think well, Jake Paul is knocking case, niggas out? No, he's paying to knock them out. He yeah. probably paying Mike Tyson ten million dollars to knock him out he on camera. He could knock me out for one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> God, some of his opponents probably was. Wow, man. So you say it's, it's fixed? It's entertainment. Jake Paul is gonna knock Mike Tyson out. Guaranteed. What you think, babe? I doubt it. Oh, Mike Tyson is fifty-seven. I feel. I don't care. How I know. Old I know. We is. all want to be hardcore. Mike Did you Tyson see him fans. training no. the other that's day? Like, that's like saying. Did you see him training the other day? Training is fine. He was training like that before he fought Roy, Roy Jones in that exhibition match too. Yeah, and but he got in the ring he's like an old man. This is like saying if Luca get on the court with Jordan right now, who gonna win? Luca gonna smoke Jordan. Yeah, Jake Paul finna knock Mike Tyson out. Uh, you heard it here first. Yo, yeah. no. <laughs> you gonna be betting? I on wouldn't that believe match? somebody that don't play yes. no sports. Now. <laughs> you gonna be betting? Yes, I'm Mike gonna bet on that. Mike don't play no sports, okay. y'all. Don't put y'all money behind. I don't play no sports. I'm the most play athletic no. nigga you ever met in your life. Uh, well, where's the, ah! where's the film? At? Where's the goddamn film? Man? I ain't got no highlights. You guys need to play the highlights, right? Yeah, no, I ain't got now. no, no highlight <laughs> film. I ain't got none. Damn. But I, I, I want to know. So, did you see the write up about Rihanna's performance in India? Did you the see them videos or the videos? Did you see the videos? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think million. about that video? Because all her fans, it's 60. fans, and, I heard it and come in. fans are talking about how lazy her performance was. That she was hard even put for. To get paid that much to perform at his wedding, and you gave that. I mean, what do you feel about it? We can who what what can we tell Rihanna? I she feel like she just had that. a baby, well, and exactly. you don't know what she's. She ain't going, even been performing like right. That. She don't she don't perform every weekend and shit no but more. But they feel like because of. I guess not even just because of her name, but number one, Ain't you she a celebrity? Right now? No. She, Not that I know about. She just had the baby. She just oh, had she baby. had one. Yeah, she had, she had the a baby. second one. So her yeah. asset Rocky got two kids now? Yeah. Damn. That nigga rich. But <laughs> I'm saying, because she just had this baby and stuff like that, but then, yeah. and you, you ain't really been back out, she ain't probably, she, she, well, we know she hasn't dropped all that baby weight yet, but it yeah. takes a minute, and she comfortable. Yeah. But her fans are expecting the Rihanna that they know, the performance. So you feel like, okay, if you're a celebrity, no matter how long ago you hadn't performed, do you feel like your fans is do that performance all the time? For sure. Every time you step on that stage, you're supposed to get your all. Right. For but, sure. Every time. But that wasn't what we saw. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Some people have off nights. You never know what Rihanna was going through before. Well, I mean, she shouldn't be going through nothing if she got nine When you got to come to... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you she get to nine, goes 69. Away. Nine million. I, I don't know. It, it has the been so many numbers. The number was nine, nine for sure. Yeah. Oh, but, they confirmed because they. I think. Uh, I think they paid Beyonce like twenty, but they gave her nine. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, because because Beyonce performed for not the son but the daughter's wedding, the same family, the daughter's wedding, and, and these are the richest what, people what, in what, India. What, so. they, what do they wanted to do? Backflip. 
You know, and, and jiggle yeah, her nipples like, and in the video she don't really do just a, a lot like that. Peacock come on. She her walk ass. around slow as <laughs> them islanders do. Wait, 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 I ain't wait, never wait, seen wait, wait, wait. do too much. <laughs> well, I ain't mean, never been like a she never been a too much. She never like, been like, ah, but you know how they okay. should have got Cardi B. The way how she was Cardi would have threw that shit. Cardi would have threw that shit. Cardi would have hurt that. Yeah, she was yeah. you know they going out more into her ass. movements. She didn't do that. Yeah, and that's what they're looking for. Well, yeah. they should have got Cardi B. Yeah, they might get that shit. No matter what, Cardi B would have worked. That worked like a put a pole up in that hole and just say, "I'm gonna go in." Before Think about the music in Dallas. Now, you know, last time you was asked this question, you failed miserably. And you failed on a, uh, I think you was on a big platform when you, I mean, <laughs> I, want, I want you to take your time. I don't, want you to, I don't want you to ride into this too. Mm -hmm. I mean, to answer this correctly for the people who love to hear your reviews and like... <laughs> You know, I don't give a fuck about it. none of that. I'm gonna tell you, what the, I'm what do you think about the Dallas wave of music? Let's be honest. I think, nah, I like like the, the new Dallas shit them niggas doing. I love that shit. All them little get money niggas, them young niggas, the zillionaire dog, Montana, uh, Kev got bands, all them niggas. I like all that. Now, ain't Big X too, nigga. Big X, he, 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 yeah, Big X too. But you he got not, a name. He, he went before this movie. Yeah, but started. what about these but niggas with sure. him? Like Rose Summer and that other dude. What's his name? Hood. Hood. Okay, you wasn't going to name him. I just caught you. You could have got lost to everything because right there. I'm talking about, I was just talking about the New Dallas niggas. Like, they saying, they calling it New Dallas, and it's a certain group of niggas that I'm talking about, which is Zillionaire and all them niggas. But then you have Big X and Rosama and all them, but it's a... So you say Rosama and them a little bit on another level. They they on the road with X. They Hell yeah, they on... They they gone. They good. They they gone, yeah. They doing their thing. Hell yeah. What would you, what, what, what would you say to them, which... What would you say to Rosama and Hood about their careers, like, to, to for them to really blossom in the midst of... Drop what? a hit. Drop a hit and go on the road on your own. You can't be under X forever, but... But it just started, right? Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's been this it year, just, maybe. It's just getting started, but it's good. They under X. They get to build their buzz. Now that you got all these eyes on you, you got to drop that motherfucker and you and X will meet somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to go this way and meet back up. Because you got to think about it. Like, when you think about people who done that kind of work together, like, you look at... Let's go to 50 Cent G unit. Mm hmm. Exactly. Nobody <laughs> ever made it to. Nobody could. Well, besides Game. Game, but game, he, nah, he game wasn't, wasn't really as, all the way in with them. Nah, like that. Game. Yeah, but that's a, exactly. Game was like a nigga that they signed. He wasn't a day one no, homeboy. No. He was like a nigga they signed. He was because, hot. Because he was talented. Yeah, so that's the difference between signing talent and signing your homeboys. Well, you know, I got a few questions for you. You are my guy. <laughs> I love talking to you. You are Dallas. You a staple in Dallas when it comes to you, lady. DFW. DFW. I know. Don't do me like that because you know my city Fort mad Worth, at me, bro. You know, yeah, I got y'all. Y'all so sensitive. <laughs> All right. Okay. The niggas from Fort Worth, guys. DFW. And, and speaking on that, speaking on that, um, I had a guy to come in here, here recently and said that he was Go Yayo was not doing anything that he would have called hot music right now. He says the music, he, he expected more from Go Yayo coming out of prison. Um, and I just want to know what you think about the music that Go Yayo is putting out, uh, the freestyles that he's dropping, the things that he's doing. First of all, I feel like all this hype and people that saying Yayo music is whatever is people that probably didn't even listen to Yayo before he went to jail because the shit sounds exactly like he did before he went to jail. His voice just a little deeper and raspier now, but it's the same. It's the exact same music. So, shit, I like it. I liked it before he went in. I like it now. That's that's Yayo. I don't know what they was expecting him to come out talking about. It's Go Yayo. He's going to talk about murder and drugs and f***ing struggle. He's not, I don't know. That's what he talks about. I don't know what they was expecting him to come out talking about. Wow. 
I just want I had to ask you that. I will <laughs> we'll get the clip by the time this come out. The yeah, clip, the clip yeah. will be coming out with it, and you will be seen and known for what you just said. <laughs> you won't see it coming, but it will I be see coming. It coming. Yeah. <laughs> right. So um, who, who else? Who else? Who else? So have Go Yayo and you been locking in? Y'all, y'all. Yeah, we talk all the time. We okay. ain't shot no video yet. Review but, or anything coming? Uh, yeah, we might do that too. I ain't yeah. even asked him yet, but. It could be something that can yeah. happen. I still I talk to him all the time, but we just ain't. I ain't even seen him since he been home. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I see him online. I seen him with famous famous. My nigga, he been yeah. on here too. Yeah, and nigga been on Boss Talk. Shit, he, he he working down there. He went all the way to Memphis to do that. I wanted to famous. No, he was down here. Famous so he came up. Down here, yeah. Last time he came up, he shouted at me. Hey, famous animal, get get back at your boy. We can do something twenty twenty four. Yeah, I hadn't been down to Memphis shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go down to Memphis. What you think, babe? Mm-hmm. We got to get to Memphis. So, well, you know, we got an interview going on behind the interview. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let me get a swig and we'll see your car. I ain't nothing in that motherfucker. Oh, oh, get him no. something else. Go, go get him some I drinks. I ain't gonna never turn no, up. I want the mother to keep asking my Jamaican queen, Carrie, take me to the bathroom. You want, you want uh, get her a cup, ball talk cup. <laughs> get her a shot, baby. We do treat them right over here. We treat you right. I'm gonna be honest you. with you. When you leave, you know, Dallas will cease to talk about us, but you'll see me on a lot of platforms. <laughs> Man, shout out to Vlad for posting that too. Yeah. Vlad post balls. Too. Okay. Even that. though I be letting a lot of niggas go in on you on him, Vlad. I know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't stop these niggas from talking. But uh, yeah. Yes, a lot of people be talking down. What do you think about Vlad? Do you even watch Vlad TV? Every day. Jesus. You watch Vlad every day? Every day? <laughs> every, day? every day. That's all you I own that Vlad You gotta TV. pay me double to come on there after the way this nigga watch <laughs> you him. Watch, you love Vlad. In yeah. love with I've anyone. I've been watching Vlad for years. Pike mm-hmm. is in love with anyone that has this shit in front of their face. You watch be, all I of watch it. Platforms. Yeah, I'll be watching Boss Man, Talk. Whatever. Watch, you don't watch no damn man, Boss please. Talk. This whole going I'll in. I'll be watching. I just watch interviews and shit all the time. All That's the time. what I do. You don't even watch TV. I watch no. TV a little bit. I watch TV a little bit. When my shows is on, I only watch what TV. Show? Now I'm back to watching TV because BMF just came back. When Power come back, I'll be watching TV again. Yeah. My this shows? is boss talk. This ain't lie talk now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking like a boss. You know all that lying? It's boss talk one on one. Hey, she shot that in the heart. Hey, man, I'll be she watching come back TV. by herself, nigga. She yeah. right now. Yeah, this <laughs> boss talk one on one, nigga. Not that other Not that two. Not one on two. That's right. Stop playing. <laughs> I, I ain't she really Stop serious. Playing. Wait a minute. Say that again. Not the boss talk one on two, but one on. One, One. Don't man. Play yourself. Shout out to that girl, man. I'm a realist. Is the realist in the building? <laughs> oh, no, man. So, okay, I seen you with that nigga that sell them. Uh, I ain't gonna call it Fruit Loops. <laughs> uh, the nigga sell oh, some. The Whoops. FYBJ um, Main. FYBJ Main. Let's start. Do I gotta go there? Do I gotta go there? Like, like, how do I gotta go there? I'll bug I mean, the fuck up. What do you think about it? He's entertaining as fuck. FYBJ man, he's a star. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's yeah. funny because he's act, when the camera's cut off, he's actually a little regular. Normal he's regular as, fuck. as fuck. I heard that though. Normal yeah, he's normally a real nigga. He he regular, but when the cameras come on, he jump in the character. Well, I can tell he you, he still that, talk like that off not, camera, but not me. <laughs> nigga, this what nigga's you a loose what you get. It's all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, cut it, he, he cut it up for the camera. He's still funny off camera. He funny as fuck off camera. When the camera cut on, he turn it up. Wow. How much is them whoops going for? I need when he get a bad box. Last I checked, he was selling them for $100. Right? I, I, you, I think it just went up to, to 159 $100. And the box, I think the box be empty because I was hungry as shit trying <laughs> to get the some. Fuck? Whoa, I what? was hungry as Sometimes shit. Sometimes the box that, might the be box empty. The box be empty. empty. Sometimes. That shit, I think that shit, that shit was looking light the night I seen him. Yeah, sometimes it was an empty <laughs> box. I might have had an almond milk in my car. Don't ask me why, but he ain't had no... <laughs> He ain't had no more f- whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had a whoops in his box. We was whoopless. Well, Do your homework on J-Man with you, an empty whoop you, box. Did you open the box and it was empty or was it nah, no Nah, it just, it's hollow. <laughs> that that shit is a prop. <laughs> I like a hustle. Yeah, no, 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 no. Love a hustle. He's fire. Wow. So, okay, you you one of the ones, man, that you come into Dallas. You you see the you see what's going on with the music. Not this is not your question. Now. I ain't. I'm, 
What <laughs> What do you think about the da- Now don't listen man This shit's serious <laughs> don't, don't say nothing Cause they already say boss talk messy They love to say that boss talk messy Don't go they messy messy yeah Okay I asked the question the people want to know You were in Dallas doing music In Dallas studios <sighs> What do you think about the Dallas Movement with the music As far as what Before I answer do you like what you're hearing from the females? Yeah. See that shit? <laughs> yeah. No, okay. <laughs> you, are, you see what I'm saying? You, you see what, what I'm saying? I talk. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I just asked a question. No, no, no. No, now we're going to get missing. controversial because no. pint. Fine. Oh damn! Fine. Throw that nigga under no, I'm gonna have to because he the one that be like, don't collab with them. They shit what don't the go fuck? hard. No, <laughs> don't do that. That's half fine film. You, yeah. He tell you don't collab with no they Dallas. Sh- no, 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 no. That ain't true. No Dallas <laughs> artists. No, no, he be telling me don't collab with certain ones because they don't. They don't it's they don't no good for you. So we what you telling me? No See, local here, here's what here's what, oh, here's what you're telling me. Here's what you're telling me. That there has been people that have approached you <laughs> about mm-hmm. doing some music together, and you decide. And playing go, they shit suck. Nah, Don't. Nah, 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 nah. You see nah, what I'm nah, saying? She lied. She lied. Nah, you see what I'm saying? She lied. Then they play. Oh, boss talk. She they lied. They so <laughs> messy. No, they so oh, I'm messy too, bitch. That's why I'm boss talk. She lied. Oh damn! I don't just straight up say it sucks. They might okay, just. They might explain just, yourself. I <laughs> might. I might suggest against it sometimes because it has to make sense. What, 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 it has to make sense, bro. We're not trying. We're not just out here just trying to collab with everybody and make records just making records. We're trying to make shit that makes sense and go. It's stepping stones. If we do a feature, it's gonna be somebody that it's a stepping stone. Not we just on the same level making songs just because. For what? So you don't want to do no collabs with certain artists because you were looking for a hit. Yes. You want a hit. Yes. Yeah. Well, that brings up what something else. What we collabing for? I mean, right? but that, yeah. that brings up something else. That's the, that's what? Who in Dallas would you be willing to collab with? Uh, guy or female? No. Okay. Um, I want to work with 2Z. That, it's been talks about that. Um, I've mentioned I want to work with Big X for sure. Um, well, you should be able to get that. You would because, think. Nah, you would think. Uh, <laughs> what you mean? You would, no, 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 Go on, go hey, on. Hey, hey, ah, hey. You better go viral. You better let it go. You let it go. That nigga gonna be on the call. Go I, on. Hey, I like big niggas. I'm a <laughs> ass shoot off that nigga belly. I ain't trying to have no beef. Oh, the fuck? He will call his ass. It will be a phone call. So we want him to pass on by that. That's It'd be funny, good to hear fun. you and Big X together. Big X is dope. He Hard as the, fuck. He's the hardest, probably the hardest, I want to say, Last year to come through Dallas, we don't know about this year because not over yet. And you did have a nigga named Folk Bats that came out of nowhere. I don't know R and B ish, and he made waves when it come to music in Dallas. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that was. It just hit, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Do y'all think y'all think Folk Bats would have took off like that if he had features with hella local artists before it popped? That's hard. No, nigga, that's hard. You're it popped right. because it ain't oversaturated. Nobody knew who he was before. What do you think about it? Let's be honest. Don't, don't, you, he hard as fuck. Kanye said he was hard. No, nigga. Kanye? Yeah, he did say it. You know I found this shit way Kanye before is gonna Kanye. say he's hard because he got a Drake feature now. Ah, oh, damn, she be out in this nigga. I'm just, <laughs> she out this nigga. Oh, this is like, boss <laughs> up one on one, nigga. Ah, not one up two. Yeah, you right. So, was I not? We went to Four Bats video shoot way before he had the Drake feature. That was Four Bats with all them niggas in your video as always. Oh, but yeah, look. you? No. What happened? I've been on Four Bats since the first song dropped. I was like, this nigga hard. That, okay. that nigga hard. But, um. The Drake feature did help. <laughs> of course. Drake feature did <laughs> help. Once he like got that, Pine was like, oh, oh this nigga's out of here. This nigga's out of here. He's out. 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 He's out.
She's lying. She's making shit up. <laughs> Everything she's saying right now is. <laughs> I'm no. shaking the table. Trying to go viral. No, she tell the truth. No, she tell the truth. No, she tell the truth. The lie detectors are saying, "Nigga, it's the truth." So there you go. Say, bro, Let's you it. was like, "Oh, this nigga." You was, you was pretty much like, "He's talented. He got something." But when until, Drake had, until Drake. he started getting recognition from everybody, then probably was like, "Oh, this nigga's fucking great, oh, man. This nigga's awesome, man." I wish he'd have did a review on that nigga. Before all of this happens, okay. and he gonna pull them fake ass wish. receipts. That's okay. I wish he would have did a review. Hang on. That's no, okay. Hold on, whoa, 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 you know what? Whoa, whoa, and I can tell you this much: when that nigga went, Jamia back. caught him. Not see what me out that pond. <laughs> true <laughs> thing, that true thing. We're not lying, nothing. Then I'm lying. Oh, this <laughs> that shot true thing. Me out your pond, boy. Hey, let's see. Let's see. What? The, what's the date on them DMs? And what I say? Can I shoot a video for you? Cause I see you about to blow up. Wrong, wrong. Wow, yo. Way in December. Yeah. Way before. Nigga, we in nigga. February and a half. Nigga, that ain't that long ago. We was acting like nigga ain't been acting like we right. in June. So you, 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 so you and him was already in talks. Yeah, this was when he first. Plain was like, first video I, came I out. recognize talent. I see you about to blow up. I'm just trying to be a part of it. If wow. I'm trying to be a part of it. What did I say? I just said you congrats said on are, whatever you got are, coming you to you because I see it. I seen it. But, but that was before. He had you already went viral. Before. He that went he, viral, though. He went viral, yeah. The first, yeah, the yeah. first time the first he came time out, he, he came went viral. Out. Yeah, he went Nobody viral. Nobody knew who he was. Mm -hmm. You had never heard of him before that. Mm -mm. It wasn't nothing to know of before that. That's what I'm saying. That was his very first product. Wow. And it went. What you think about that, babe? The nigga did what he had to do. Mm -hmm. I just can't wait to see what else he going to do. Well, he don't have to do nothing else. He made a big song. But it's only one, <laughs> but it's only one song, right? He don't have that's to have. all it he takes. Got, he got three the, of them now. For everybody to he got three of them be now. wild. But that's still the biggest one, the one that Drake got yeah, on. Yeah, 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 once you get sure. that Kanye uh, co-sign and Drake get on there, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no matter what y'all think. I respect think. that, though. Shout out for it, Bats. You hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, do you so, think that Kanye going to jump on something with him? I don't know now because Drake did it first, so I don't know. I don't know. Kanye might feel a way about that. I guess we'll find out. Well, I know. Uh, we'll find out. We or who does it best? Kanye, man. Kanye got killed. Kanye, I feel like, no, no, I, I feel think, like Kanye and Kanye I think Kanye though. should still do some, but actually Kanye say, hey, let's do one Kanye together. Kanye awesome. Yeah, something totally different. I don't, know, I don't know what, I don't know. You I don't won't know until it happens. Yeah. What was I about to say? You don't know. You, I don't you know don't how know. that would sound. I don't know if that would. I don't know if that would make it happen. I don't no, know. No, no, no. I was gonna say I don't know what they're gonna create that's going to stand out outside of what he's done. Well, you know, it's gonna. It's gonna be, gonna be his vocals you. turned up in a higher octave. And Kanye is gonna spit bars the way he do. He's gonna produce the record. He's gonna make the beat. Kanye, okay, is, but hold on, that's so it. Hold on, hold on. Do you been, he can do anywhere. Okay. He can go anywhere but with you. Been no, no, I'm not saying Kanye. Hold on, I'm not saying Kanye. You never know where you gonna go. Kanye, Kanye How many times do you uh -oh. actually see a rapper who the first song that they came out with blew up never. so big? Hold on, blew up so big. Never is crazy. No, then can come back and keep producing. Because you have one-hit wonders who come out and they oh, just... Oh, yeah. It's going to be hard to top that. But sure. how many people do you actually see after they did the first song and it blew up so big that they kept coming with it? Never. Have you seen... You've never seen that before? Never. Not, not, not like that. So do you think he have what it takes to keep bringing this amount of heat? I want to see... No, do you think? No, right. no, 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 yeah. Do you know yeah. if he wrote when, that song? Sure. When did Half Pain come know. on this show? We don't know. Half you never Pain. know. Somebody yeah. else could have wrote it. When did, when did Half Pain come on Boss Talk last time? You I don't know. I don't keep last, track. Yeah. The last time I came was what a couple months ago. Um, December. <laughs> oh, no. It was... <laughs> <laughs> 
Now it's that February was, and a half. Nah, that was like in like, December. Yeah, yeah, that was like November. That nigga was uh, up there calling Dallas suck. No, I'm kind of <laughs> Yeah, that was like November. Publicity Around the time stunt. I did the, uh, Yeah, he knew it was good. Yeah. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> but uh, ask her, before oh, I made them posts. Oh, my gosh. And I knew. I just knew. Before I made them posts, I said, I'm finna shake the city up. I didn't know it was going to do that. But I was like, I'm finna do something. I'm finna say some shit that's Bro. gonna get some reactions. I didn't know it was gonna react like that. Yes, though. you did. I didn't know it was gonna go that big. Bro, people are still what y'all mad done did to him to where he coming up here lying to y'all? I don't. But the thing is, I don't one know. Thing about it, if you are gonna do this, then you need to keep going with it, and they're gonna hate you. But it's Correct. gonna raise you up. But this is <laughs> that helped that hate when I did that, that actually helped me realize the power that I have for real. Yeah. I was like, that I didn't think this many people gave. A for real, like, why do y'all give a f I said because, y'all suck? Because yo, you 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 basically in here giving reviews all the time, and what you say does matter. It's just a lot Absolutely. of times you lie, and I think that's probably why when, when you lie. finally came out and said something that didn't go with the grain, and it made people it, it shocked them that you would say that. Oh, like, that oh he talking about nah, me? It was because oh, he was, talking about me? It was negative. That's why they responded. That's right. If I would have said, hey, everybody in DFW hardest. That would have had three comments. Nobody would have said nothing. Nobody would have gave a fuck. That's real. So I said something negative. Generally negative. I didn't say nothing about nobody in specific. Wow. I said everybody sucked. Wow. And everybody responded. Wow. Everybody sucked. <laughs> and everybody responded. Let's talk about it. F a broke boy. Let's talk about that. Like, what was the process? And, like, what was that? F a broke boy. What is that about? F a broke boy. Um, we Give me some of the lyrics in F a broke boy. How does it go? You can't have no coochie if you Come. ain't buying me Gucci. You can't have no smooches. If you broke, I throw the deuces. Hey. It's really this juicy. No uh. illusion, I ain't boosting. Uh. This p so good, I got a key. Let me move in. Uh, you that, can't have no... That's the one, like that's one tea lady <laughs> likes, huh? <That's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, she like my earliest shit. <laughs> Which one? Give me some of that. What um, one? how's that go? Yeah, I need to know what that PK you know what uh, kid was doing. You know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't remember that song. Say, gonna stop, man. Who gonna... I go by I am Emeralist I see watch up on my wrist hey. like stacking commas with the click Brooklyn Queen juicy thick Ooh. yeah she yeah, likes that she liked that yeah Man, like, like I said the, the one thing about what did you you did a video to uh, that broke boy mm -hmm. what, what was that like and who did you do it with uh, I did it with Half Pint and then we collabed with In Focus. shout out In Focus he shoots shout Brazilianaire though In Focus is the future shout out he's hard not only do he hold the camera but he raps and he's actually f good so shout out duke over and focus so shout we collabed with him yeah we collabed yeah, with him for truth. broke boy that nigga is cold as wow well. yeah. and so look but you know but with the music just like how you just mentioned that you know you're brooklyn fine and all of that but you're here in dallas and you rep in dallas so the the moments that went yeah. controversial was that's what I'm trying to figure. They said, out. "Do you consider yourself a DFW artist?" And I said, "Yes," because the moment I started actually putting footwork and legwork behind my music has been my entire duration in Dallas. And I was writing for niggas before my face actually started being seen. So of course I'm gonna say I'm rising out of Dallas because. Everybody that put in the footwork for me is from Dallas. Why would I say I'm rising out of New York? Ain't nobody put in no footwork for me in New York. I'm born and raised from New York. I'm from New York. But my was really putting in that work for me to win is from Dallas. So they didn't like the fact that I said, okay, I'm a DFW. I'm coming out of DFW. I'm a DFW artist. But in your music, you still rap Brooklyn. In yeah. your music, in my music, I talk about it. Where right. I'm from. I've shot a music video in my hood. Like, yeah, for sure. Wow, and, and so you <laughs> But look, this is what I no, want no, to no, say. No, 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 I want to ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> before you say what you got to say, do mm -hmm. you consider her a Dallas artist? Goddamn right. What? Why? Like she just said, she's coming up out of Dallas. She's doing music in Dallas. Well, I she's, don't want to say nobody name, but it was the on there, and it was told to me that you need to stop doing that because we, she's not a. Uh, I'm not gonna say a name because I don't want no problem. We're gonna say her name. Shout out to Kiki. We gonna talk about it. Was shouting about it. for me at my performance at the mixer, which was being so uh, supportive. Have you seen me. it? No, she was at the mixer. Pine had a mixer. And I saw her in the crowd. I I don't know her music, but like I know of her. 
So because I know people liked her, I was like, hey, shout out South Dallas Kiki. And How she long was, ago was that? That was in December, November. November. Yeah. Okay. And so, you know, because I'm a person to where if people like you in the city where I'm coming up out of, I'm going to address you. Yo, I said, yo, shout out South Dallas Kiki. Ah, ah. And she was on me. But after I performed there, I start releasing videos. I start really. And it wasn't until that to when it became. She's not from Dallas. She shouldn't. I'm sorry, half pint this and that. And it's like, wasn't we just no, wait, like. Let's no, be, but when let's did let's you right, say wait. what you said, though? On, I you said, said what I said in like January or February. Yeah. So Somewhere. that's probably when it became a problem because of what you said. It wasn't really probably because of, you know, you rising up or your music. Mm -hmm. Because if she supported you back in November, December, and vice versa, people get touchy when you saying, you know, you from but a why? certain if place. You, if, you, they, if, you popping did, it, if you popping it for your city. They said they did the same thing with Megan. If you popping it in your city, which I never understand that. If you popping it in your city, you making noise in your city, you doing what you got to do. I don't understand how anything that another woman or individual say could affect you so bad to where you have this beautiful platform. Let's talk about it again. Boss Talk 101, not the 102, right? You on this beautiful ass platform. Hell of a slogan going right you there. on this platform and you could be talking about anything. I got this coming, I got that coming. I'm working on this. I'm proud of this, my city this. Instead, instead you wanna talk about the, the out of town bitch. I just think that that's not good publicity. I, I think that it's good for me. But I don't think that it's substantial for whoever's talking about it because, like, you're shedding light to someone else when but, that's your but moment. I also want to say... Let me, let me stop because I got I to gotta, I gotta say something behind that. Like, mm -hmm. South Dallas Kiki, do you understand what that means? No. Well, she's from the South. She's a South Dallas person. Yeah, I she's thought that's what that came from. She's born and bred it here. Yeah. And she feels like she have to stand up for Dallas. I respect that. So she, when you come down here mm -hmm. with your bars, I love looking <laughs> good as fat. You know, what I'm she, she, basically, she's standing on her own too, saying, "I would you shut the, you know, the Dallas. She, she rocking the Dallas thing. So that's all. I don't yeah. think she mean no harm by it. I don't mean harm by it either. You know I'm, I'm just saying, saying my opinion. Sure. I she, like the little blue she box said, braids. She really, she, she, she I ain't really, got no problem. She really checking you because you supposed to know better. Than he to was say supposed that. to be that's showing what, up videos what, and put and put. No, I wasn't and, about yeah. that. You was supposed to be signing That's exactly what it's about. Let's talk about. They feel like. I should be putting on somebody from Dallas or from the city. I done did that plenty of times. What came yeah. of that? What what was my reward for that? Whoa, whoa! Now it's getting we're going into uh, <laughs> mental illness. No, I see it right now. That nigga is talking what about was my what reward happened. For that? What happened? They turned their backs on him every time he put his work in for the artists. Is that what, what you're that? saying? Let's I'm just saying. Let's yeah, real. that's what he's saying. That, that's what you're saying. That, Making sure artists that I'm helping is from Dallas or Fort Worth never mattered. It never helped me. I it feel like help you. Do you know how big you are to I'm this saying, city, man? Nigga, that's because the work I put in. I'm talking about the city that they was in. That didn't. That wasn't the determining factor. Wow. I'm. I gotta spread my wings. Ain't this nobody getting mad. Messy in the Ain't nobody getting mad. Get mad. When I say that, Ain't nobody getting mad. Interview. When Sean Cotton wow. starts signing Whoa. niggas from Atlanta yeah, wow. <laughs> and shit like that. Nigga. Well, music, well, I got a question for you. Behind. I got a question for you, boss. Yeah, yeah, talk. One oh one, baby. One oh one, not the now two. <laughs> not the two. The one. Um. So we talked a little bit, and that's on record with camera man. <laughs> yeah, we talked a little bit before, you feel me? Do you feel like you, because you're podcasting here, and this because... This interview, first of all. No, but... Yeah, it is but now, no, 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 it's about you now, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> it is now, nigga. I'm not, I'm not answering You that. smack no that? No, 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 no. no, no. Get it off. You no, smack... No, 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 I'm going to ask you, Jamia, can I have your support then? No. All right, then. <laughs> You feel like you because you in Dallas, right? You are literally, yeah, this is this yeah, is the yeah. home of your podcast. Do you feel like you are obligated to not be tried and true to talent because of city and where you from and where you born? Are you not going to make Boss Talk a universal platform? Are you going to narrow it to Dallas? Is that really what the goal is? Do you watch Boss Talk? 
Have you ever watched this show? I've watched it a couple it's times. Three thousand and some interviews out there. Okay. Three thousand. I probably got what three hundred, two hundred in the vault, right? Uh, I got a lot of interviews. I work a lot. I'm being real with you. And um, only ten of them are from Dallas. You lying your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you got three thousand know, interviews. Hey. Twenty one hundred is from Dallas. No, it's a bunch of them from Dallas. I, I I actually show love to. I'm a Texas nigga. Yeah. So my biggest thing is to show love to Texas and then that. push up the information. So my that. whole goal from the start was to make sure we push up information. Yeah. I really don't like the little Dallas, Houston, the little, the little. I don't like the nit, t- the nit. You're yeah. you're trying to get you know keep I mean? the whole. I want Texas. this whole thing going up. Okay. So that's my whole whole deal. I love going. I'm going to San Antonio next week. I I'm, I hit every. I've been to Waco. I'm I'm going to all these towns. Okay, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying yeah. to make sure they show each artist that Boss Talk showing love to each one of these cities. As I go to Cali, Chicago, you know, Virginia, South Carolina. We just got back from Atlanta, yeah. so we'll be everywhere. But Texas is where I'm pushing up from. You know what I'm saying? So. I have interviewed so a lot of people So basically, you scared to give Dallas. a direct answer. I feel no. I've interviewed a lot of people <laughs> that's from Dallas. On. I've interviewed a lot of people from Dallas, and I think that's that's something I never shy back from. But I'm more about Texas. So you feel like where you would like to go with this podcast, it could be done with just Texas. Yeah. Okay. Texas is known for run- Texas can make a artist platinum without even using anything else. This this southern region. I'm being real. No, that's true. So that's true. I, if you get Texas behind you, you've done it already. We just had this conversation when we was Oh, well, we know that from Donald Trump. Really? <laughs> that's probably how <laughs> he, he became crazy. president. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely is something. I, and so definitely I love Texas. Yeah. Dallas. Houston. East Texas. I do Fort too. Worth. So why you know I can't saying? be coming out of DFW? Fort- I think you. I think you're doing it. Ain't no damn stopping yeah, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ain't no stopping you with your fly ass. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You coming whether they want you to or not. You feel me? That's what I'll be trying to say. <laughs> so, and I like. Yeah, that. I like. I like you the know, energy you know, that you, you do. do. You know, you you're not letting nothing hold you back. So I'm loving that. You know what I'm saying? Keep on doing what you're doing, and I think you're gonna fly. Go fly. Go fly further. How do you say? Go Carter, young Carter. You know. But yeah, this is New York behind the bar. You did that song. This is New York. Is that what it was called? Yeah, it was. It was a scholar song. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, what What made you pick that song to do behind the bar? And how was that experience working with Half Pint? Um. So behind the bar was the first time we met. And so I seen a couple artists on there and I was right at the point where I was about to give up music because I'm a bitch like, I'm going to do what pays. Like if I need to get a corporate job, go to school, get another degree, I'm going to do that. Most motherfuckers do all that music stuff, but it's like, how the fuck are you making money? You feel what I'm saying? That's real. That, and that's what I cared about. That's always what I cared about. So right when I was about to like give up on it, I was like, I want to do it behind the bar. He responded. He was like, okay. Um, but I didn't really have nothing on my page that suggested I did music because I wanted to make it as a ghostwriter. That's what I really wanted to do. Um, Let me say this too before she continue. At that point, I wasn't really just letting anybody on behind the bars. I let her on behind the bar because she was fine. Let's start that. Nigga that. Let's, <laughs> he, that's tried, he was trying to holler at you face to face. Wow. Well, it cost wow. 600 to holler at me. So. Wow. Pimping. So you mm-hmm. charge us six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. What most of you guys are complaining to pay. This is why he want to support $600. everybody that's not just in Dallas. Cause I paid that six hundred. Niggas was wow. complaining and about that six hundred. I ain't asking for no discount. <laughs> and you were trying to quit at that you time. I was trying to get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Damn, they're about to quit. How you about to quit and you and you throw off six? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. I'm like. I'm going to do this and I'm going to see what this makes me feel. It was really for me. It wasn't even for the responsiveness. I had the scholarship shit. I had not recorded for a minute. I went to the studio with Collab. Shout out to Collab. He's also a producer. He got plaques and shit and he rapped too. I got in this booth with Collab and I was like, I'm just going to go to New York because that's just what the mood I'm in. So I already had that in the vault only for like a week or two when I had him up to do, uh, to do Behind the Bars. Mm-hmm. I get to Behind the Bars, it's an intimate setting, it's like this movie uh, filming place. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to pop my shit, I'm about to give it whatever I got. And um, and I did it, and it's been 
up since. What month was that when you did it? That was in July. July last year. So we've only been at this shit for like seven months. Just at it. We just start putting out. I was about to say, not even that for real. We was just. We just started really putting because, out work in December. Because in, okay, July you did that. When did he decide, say, okay, I want to manage you? Probably around like <laughs> December. Because from July to December, at that point, I felt like he was just saying, okay, let me see how serious she take this. Let me see if she... He was trying to holler at you during that time. That was red shirt now. Huh? He was there trying to holler at you. Go. He was trying there to holler at you during that time. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't blame me, he didn't, No, he there didn't, he didn't even... Me. Because that's the reason he brought you don't on in the first place. place. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. You mean? You didn't know that, but he was trying to work his magic between... Between July and December. Okay, look, let's clear the air for yes, sure. Yes, oh, right. God. When she first hit me up, I was trying to holler at her for sure. Okay. That's the only reason. Because she didn't have no music on her page. Her page, she didn't even look like she was an artist at all. I but didn't she had them she, fine pictures on she there. She looked good in the mother. Okay. So I'm like, sure, of course, yeah, you can come do your freestyle on Bond the Ball. Yeah, you know. My niggas think with the wrong head every time. She ain't complaining. She ain't got lucky on accident like a mother. Come on down here. Thank God I'm selling So when you heard her for the first time, was you still thinking about that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. The Thanks first, God. listen, Thanks honestly, God. listen, the first time I heard her, she rapping that New York shit. I didn't even care for the raps. I don't right. even, I didn't even like that New York shit like that. Until I heard her, her music music, I was like, okay, okay, I like you. And then, but yeah, I was on some other shit at first. I wasn't even, she, but then she came and rapped and I seen her charisma when she was rapping and that she could actually like, you know, I could tell that she actually practiced her shit. She did it in one take. She didn't take five or six takes like the rest of the niggas. She did them <laughs> in one take and that was, that was it. Then you fell in love. <laughs> He was like, God damn, I didn't know Brooklyn would come Listen, on like it, that. It go down like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, look, look, that nigga got to spin in the camera. That nigga got to... <laughs> Okay, well, no so reactions. Not the two, child. Nah, so when did you decide to start taking her seriously, though? It was around December. Ah, I'm oh, talking oh, to you now. Oh, 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 when did oh, he oh. decide to start taking you to see you? Wait, what, you talking about the music? Yeah, because, you know, you're still thinking with a different head at this time. <laughs> ah, okay. So I'm trying to figure again. out when you start saying, you know what? This can be something. Not just something between us. Uh, this can really um, be something. I mean, I was thinking, the first night we met, we was talking about, you know, doing this and making music with her and shit, because I seen she had the image off top, so I was like, you know, I want to try this, I want to, you know, me and uh, my partner Cash, we was like, bring it to the studio, work with okay. see what she got, you know? So I brought it to the studio, she made a couple songs. Question is for you, first. Okay. Do you believe that men can um, cheat mentally? Do you call that cheating if they're mentally like cheating? Somewhat, yeah. Um, I okay, I think cheating is just cheating, right? Like if you mentally or physically, it doesn't matter. I feel like yeah, that's cheating. But I feel like at the same time, it's not casual, ordinary to where a man's gonna cheat emotionally. I feel like it but No, mental and emotional is two different things. Okay, Way so different. You so mental, you're you're what saying you is think what? about okay. Mental cheating can be just thinking about somebody else. Okay, okay. okay it can okay. be mental cheating is looking at porn I and think, imagining I think, whatever else and doing whatever else. That's mental. I cheating. feel like ninety five percent of niggas mentally cheat. A hundred percent of niggas mentally <laughs> cheat. No, but, but 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 we're gonna save. We're gonna. Damn, Wait, did she ahead. ask you on me? I'm confused. <laughs> go ahead, continue. I, I feel like ninety five percent of niggas cheat. Right. There's 5% of niggas, those are the super obsessives, right? When they love somebody, they love that motherfucker. Ain't no bitch prettier than her. Ain't no bitch fonder than her, right? So those are obsessive personalities. Those are the 5%. Now, the 95% are split up between a, amongst a, a bunch of shit. But I feel like niggas mentally cheat for the most part when they bitch stop and out. You could be their wife, but you need to slut out. You got to because... If you don't got a secret dungeon in your basement that got a rope in there and, 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 a, and a pole, if you ain't got his favorite porn video downloaded, ready to go, if you ain't order some baby oil, nipple cover or some shit that look like a shoestring when you so put it no on. no hoes bar when it comes to your man. Huh? None. Meaning like, there's nothing that you won't do 
It no shouldn't. freaky it, stuff. It, no, if I'm you're asking gonna, you. No, if you're if, if I'm committed to this nigga for real, to no, no matter, even if it's something that you never done, I might hang off the clouds with my coochie <laughs> out for that nigga. I'm going to hang off that bitch and swing. Shout out to him, realist. One of the realists. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes to you and said, baby, I need you to, I, I want to be with this girl too and I need for us to all do that. I'm going to say, let me do the audition first now, nigga. You over here dry choosing. Let me at least see what this bitch got going on. Let me see if she got a crazy baby daddy, if a pH right. Let me see if this bitch use cocoa butter. <laughs> do she know what Sawfish and Aki is, right? Because if you going to cheat, she got to know what Sawfish and Aki is in festival. Wow. See? She, see what I'm saying? She know her stuff. You feel what, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, I need a cultural bitch. If you going to step out on me and that bitch ain't got no culture, we're done. Wow. We're done. Shout out to Amarillo. Shout Who out to Boss Talk 101, not the <laughs> two. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. Is that the name of the song? I know. Know it. I, I know it. Know it, yeah. Let's talk about it. I, I, I just be wanting to talk about the music, get yeah. some lyrics out of it. It's about the music, too. We got to sure. mix this shit up. No, so, let's sure. talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, how was it doing that video? You had your makeup right, banging. Bro, I was so happy for Know It. Know It was, like, I love Broke Boy. Don't get it twisted. because I love Broke Boy because it was all my friends, and we made some shit that we didn't even try to make. You know, Half Pint, Lil Ronnie, uh, Norm. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out. Shout Norm out to T. Norm. Yeah, right? So, we just creating shit, and we wasn't trying to create a hit. It just happened. Yeah. Know It is like my baby because it's like I went back to my hood. These are people that I was in. Those dancers I was in fifth grade with, fourth grade wow, with. You feel what I'm it. saying? These niggas that's, that, that, that's really, really in the field for real, that's really my family, been knowing me since 13, 14 years old. This means everything. At this moment, this is full circle for me. Oh, my God. I probably haven't made it to the whole world, but I made it to myself because... Wow. I told niggas in my hood I would do this and they see I'm doing it and that's they showed hard. up for me. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? So that's it was hard. a big ass proud. moment. Yeah, that's hard. It man. was a big moment. So you went with her or what? Yeah, nah, that was a lit I, video. You, it was me and her. We went to New York and this is my first real New York experience. I had been to New York did like- Did you get some pizza? Yes. Okay, some real pizza. Yes. See, okay, let me tell you about the pizza. We went and we got some little corner store pizza. It was right there on the, on the right. street. Mm -hmm. Little corner store bus. pizza. Mm -hmm. And that was That's what I do. Yeah. And actually, actually, Flatbush yeah, actually I accidentally it. got some cheese pizza was. at first. I hate cheese pizza. I tasted the cheese pizza. I was like, damn, that's some good ass that's cheese pizza. Yeah, it ain't no joke. Let me go back in here and try this with some pepperoni. You hear that still? Went back in, got a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> it was good too. That <laughs> I said, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and her argue about that all the time because she, lo she likes Chicago pizza. I'm a New York pizza. I love nigga. deep dish. I like, yes. I love no, deep dish. Look, I'm a New I York. I like Chicago pizza too. I ain't gonna lie. I'm New York. I went to Chicago and went to. It's too thick. It's a movie thing, you know. But I'm a New York. I eat about 30 pieces over there in New York. Over there, I can't even finish one of them deep dishes because it's so thick. I feel like that's the only that's the only good thing food. That's why they don't come huge. They come like this small. Wow. That's the only good thing food-wise New York got going. This that coming pizza. from a, this that coming from a nigga that That's only it. eat chicken tenders. Y'all don't trust it. <laughs> yeah. All that old uh, chopped cheese at the... Uh, that's at the deli it. and we all that shit. That's not it. That's not it. That's not we, it. This nigga is crazy. <laughs> I want bacon, <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese. Same shit. Yeah, that's not no, it. No, but let's, let's keep it a stack, right? We was filming in the hood, but we did not stay in the hood. That's true. We and I told else. him, if we going to do chopped cheese, if we going to do real deli sandwiches, we got to go on my mom's block. We got to go in the trenches. We been staying in the mother trench. We over here in Manhattan. You yeah. ain't about to get the most authentic shit in Manhattan. What we seen when we was walking down the street at three in the morning? <laughs> yeah. A bunch of hippies and, 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 and bitches dressed like nuns that was drinking. I ain't know what the was going on. What did you, in that video, did you, how did you find the people that you was going to pick to be in the video? Oh, man, they were carefully selected. So the dudes that were dancing, like I said, one of them been on me since fourth, fifth grade. He was happy, wasn't he? He oh was my, happy for you? But also, he's been on the Ellen Show. How about to say, they follow he, he is, yeah, ain't no regular name. He's big, so, <laughs> I mean, when I told him I was shooting the video, he like, yo, I'm really doing it off the fact that we came up together. We was kids together. We was, that's you know, hard. taking the train together on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he did it. He said, I got two homies that's cold, too. They're part of my team. I'm going to bring them along. Right? I said, yeah, of course. I'm paying them niggas, too. Right? But it was, like, so 
the momentum and the feel of it, right? Like, cause you had one of your friends pull up and he was like, nigga, what you doing in Flatbush? Yeah. Why are you out here? Yeah. You don't know nobody. Are you dumb? Wow. Yeah, but I'm like, he good. It was just a good feel. It was people that's from the block talking shit, annoying the out of us. And then there's like people we invited. It, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit of everything. It was a great moment. Homegirls that, that was from New York that I barely get to kick it with. That's really my homegirls, my sisters. They was in my shit like, we gonna pull up for you. What's up? Wow. It man, was beautiful. It had to be dope for you, man. It so was. Let's, let's go. What's your top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Any genre. Any genre. You oh, are, my you know, you God. Know, you get <laughs> I know. Num well, I'm not going to say number one, but one of three is going to be Anita Baker. Anita Baker is one of those people that I always said if I met her, I would cry because she taught me how to... Um, really articulate how you no. feel about a man. You feel no. what I'm saying? Not just the simplest way, but like really take it there. Anita Baker, uh, one of them will also be Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls was... He's from Brooklyn. He's so much of a big part of my... He's he from Brooklyn. Of my bringing. Of he my, from Brooklyn. Like, I can't get up here and not say him. Are you dumb? Like, what? <laughs> wow, I went over there to Brooklyn. I went over there. I went to that, that mule. They got a big picture. I went yes. to all that. On, on the anniversary of Did you go passing. to the new uh, museum? The, I didn't go to the museum yet. Okay, there's a new... Go by there. It's, it has a lot of Jay-Z, Biggie stuff in there, but it's a new... I think it's in Brooklyn, but it's a museum that everybody flying to New York for. Y'all need to check it I out. I got to check it out when we out yeah, there. We're about to, to be out there out. in a... In a we for sure next month, out. we'll be out there. So yeah. we definitely got to go by there and check it out. It's hard. Um, man, I love the fact... If you I care about hip-hop... I love the... Man, I just... I love the music for sure, but... Man, Biggie was different. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no more like him. Motherfucker, you know me saying? thinking when you say you know, he's Jada your top. Kiss fan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but J but these yeah, are different Jada niggas, that, though. Me and Jade on that picture. Oh, on that I see him. Shot. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Right here? No, nah, he down there. That, yeah, yeah, that's that him. Shit. Oh, Is yeah. this him? Right there. <laughs> Where? Right there. You touching it. This him, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, that was a yeah, I was going to hold him for the rest of the interview. <laughs> really? I love Jada Kiss. Me too. I love Jada Kiss. I'm a big Jada fan. Oh my God, Jada Kiss is... I rock with him. He bad, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like it. You, did you like that versus when he clowned on it? You didn't even see it. I didn't see that it. Oh, went hard. I didn't see it. You see the verse? Of course, yeah. Don't, I don't that nigga watch it like that. She don't watch it like that. I don't watch it like that. Yeah, that was a bad <laughs> Got on they ass. He got on dip But Jada ass. Kiss was a nigga to where like you was you was out with your big sister or your cousins and somebody played him and, you, and they dropped top BMW and the fucking block went dumb. Crazy, I know. I feel dumb. like that, I feel dumb. like that versus was the last the last moment of people appreciating lyricist, real hip hop. Lyricist. Like that, yeah, that was the everybody was like, okay, yeah, this nigga is yeah him. Yeah, like Jada Kiss got his. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Jada Kiss and Nas is two niggas that I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't say it. They. You talking about those? No, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna you keep it a things? stack. Boss Talk 101, not the two. Hey. Bro, they get so much respect. It's sickening. As they should. It's sickening. As they should. These niggas don't have to do shit. Yep. You hear me? And that's just what it is. They put that work in. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's yeah. all I was gonna they say. Put that, they put that work in. Yeah, work for them. but what, yeah. Um, who do we got in Dallas that they treat like that? Do they treat Erica like that? Erica Badu? Yeah, that's the only that's one. That's it. That's the only one they treat like that. that with that hard. just just. That's it. Respect. She run Dallas. She run Dallas. Yeah. I, you know what's crazy? I want to say the only hip hop artist that people treat like that is Lil Runny Mother F. Shout out to Lil Ronnie Mother, 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 Mother Ass. That's my nigga. Yeah. You know, he don't get that respect. Now, he don't, you can watch my Ronnie Mother Ass. Stop playing with Lil Ronnie Mother Ass. And probably once or twice a month, you see him. He'll be coming nah, out tomorrow sure. on Ball Stop. Nah, really He's shit, always though. here. For real? What? She, he, oh, y'all gotta yeah. do shit like book us the same day. This is yeah. a family affair. He ride, he ride, <laughs> he ride, he ride with the Ball yeah, Stop. He gonna show up. up her. I'm gonna bring him over and we gonna, we gonna talk about something. Yeah. Anything. We don't care. No, but I feel like Ronnie is the person that that raps that he don't got no enemies. Like, why Why would you say something bad about Ronnie? Nobody ever says nothing bad. Well, it hasn't been time people to say something bad about Ronnie, but then when they say something bad about Ronnie, everybody else on the comments and shit is like, what are you talking about? What's the project that you see that, that you when you hear that little Ronnie Mother Elf song, you just be like, that's my boy. Shit, that's a lot of Which that, one? Uh, nigga, it ain't no one song. I'm. You got to realize, I'm... 
Coming up, I was there. I know you for were. For every song. And I'm there while Mike you're Fresh, recording. Cause Mike Fresh, yeah, Mike Fresh, too. Mike Fresh. I'm not going to play with Mike y'all. Mike Fresh, too, for sure. Better I'm there. Fresh, Let me tell you something about them. Mike Fresh. Mike Fresh, Mike Fresh trash bin on his computer is where all his hits is at. That mother <laughs> makes good songs and throw them in the trash. A lot. He work a lot. He do it a lot. Yeah, he record himself. So he just, you know, he go in there and just... Bullshit a lot, but nigga, the times he be bullshitting, he be killing. He be showing me the shit he put. I ain't never put that out. Like, oh. Do you even understand where that comes from as a creative, though? No, exactly. But that's that comes from not understanding what your audience. No, likes, it I doesn't. Guess. What what it, what it, what it, comes, it from? comes from us as an artist. You're your hardest critic. You know how that makes sense. you know how much courage it took for me to be here sitting here with y'all sitting across from this man and saying I'm doing this. I probably had hits in 2018, but that didn't mean I was gonna put it out. It's a thing of like I'm self conscious, and especially like a nigga like Mike Fresh that had hits. So now he's like, is it exactly like what I'm getting all these stream from? I don't know. And the artist's worst fear is like, oh, I did all this shit to make hits. And I put out some shit and it ain't going. Now the price is down. So now I'm not as valuable. Yeah. So he's trying to maintain his yeah. character. You, you feel what I'm saying? That. She just yeah. explained that. That's that where shit it down. comes but from. Don't put down. She broke that down. But don't put the music in the trash. Put it in a possibility file. That's well, that what you're saying is why he needs somebody like Half Pint Films to always come in and say, "Hold on, nigga." Right. Don't 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 yeah. throw that song out. Put it in a possibility yeah, so file. Yeah. I tell that nigga, send me your trash. Yeah. Send me what you got in your trash. <laughs> send me your worst shit, shit right now. Every time. Yeah. 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 Uh, send me that yeah. shit you don't like. Yeah, let, 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 let's every time. I don't, don't want to cut uh, Lil Ronnie Mother up short, but uh, yeah, the, give me the song that you know. I'm a New Year's resolution fanatic. Mm -hmm. Um. What's your song with Lil Ronnie Mother L? <sighs> That's hard, bro. If I got a what my favorite Lil Runny song, mm -hmm. favorite Lil Runny song is crazy. Yeah. Um, favorite Lil Runny song that I can just cut that hole on every time and it just go. There's a lot of them. Really? I, listen, you're talking to a Bro, person. Give that, up the song, nigga. Listen, there's not. Right. I'm not like, a give one, up the song. There's not. Throw that ass in a circle. No, I don't. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's the crazy. That's, that's what I'm telling you about Lil Runny. I don't listen to his hits. That's the only one I his ever heard. His hits are for bitches. I don't ride around listening to Before I started that. hanging out with him, that was the only one I had ever heard. And I didn't know that he was the same guy. Yeah, when I, she I didn't, didn't even know, know who Ronnie I was. I didn't know he was the same guy. You knew he was the one we who went to a party. Party. Look, No, we went, I, I didn't. didn't. I just Look, found out on like a month ago. She had no clue. Me too. We went to a skate. <laughs> we went to a skate party, and all these people was taking pictures with Ronnie. And she was like, "Who the f is this nigga?" I'm like, on everything I love, I have no fucking <laughs> clue. She I didn't even no know clue. who the. F he was when I DM'd him for behind the bars. I'm yeah, like, nigga, no you're famous. Was. I didn't know you were famous. Yeah, he I had, didn't right, know. He, he was gatekeeper. I don't know what that count for anything. Hey, I'll be my nigga, Big D man. Oh, you came up with D, some man. shit with but that everybody, shit. Everybody remembers that. Everybody <laughs> off the show. I think Boss Talk one on one for to bring it back. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna call it something else. Your flag flashback some Big D. Yeah, no, no, the the a list. We gonna put us. Are y'all gonna list. put a list together? Ooh, hey, y'all know. Crazy over them lists. You better I know. tread carefully. Oh, the they lists. get mad. Oh, they get mad at <laughs> Those you lists are worse yeah. than Grammy nominations. Yeah. Yeah. Taking they it so serious. They really be mad. So serious, you hear me? Do you like they getting paid off I've of it. I've never done a list. But <laughs> I just be saying I just be saying general shit that's like Why a list. Why don't you but make I a never, list though? Because of that. Man, I'm not a blogger. But most Always making lists. You don't it's have to be a blogger to make the list. He's that's scared the of friction, problem. Jamaica. There's always niggas that's not a blogger or that's not even that don't even have no say so but and you nothing. Making a the, list, but and it will influence. round niggas up. But the influence that you have, and because you've been doing the music, the reviews for such a long time and stuff like that, you have the air for the music. I don't see why you should. Name if the I dropped a five, list tomorrow, that would go viral. Name the top five artists out. Right now, Dallas or in Dallas, Texas? Not on, not, and, and that's excluding. Uh, no, nope, don't exclude nobody. No, top five, top five artists in Dallas right now. Are we talking about best? Or are we talking about best? Your, be, your, your top no, five. Your top five doesn't have to be either oh, my one. My top five is way different than the. Than who's I don't hot. care. I ask okay, you. no, because yeah, your top five. Top five. And then why are they? I don't need five? to know why. Just come I don't, on. You know they they gonna ask me. A mini why? Don't give us a long why. Number one, 
Lil Ronnie Mother F. Always. Okay. I think that's, I feel like Lil Ronnie is going to be on everybody's list. Right. Number two, Big X the Plug. Wow. Big X the Plug. Uh, number three, um, My Top. Right now. Oh, well, yeah, Four Bats. Okay. Four Bats. I actually listen to his songs. I actually listen to his music. Number four. Number four, Zillionaire Doe. Wow. Number five. Number five. That's where it gets tricky. Amaryllis. Nigga, me. <laughs> Amaryllis. <laughs> Amaryllis. Where you going? You to the restaurant. Oh, you Lord, you can't hold here? nothing. Oh, my oh, God. God. Can't hold nothing. It's just running right through oh. you. Am, Amaryllis. But who... who <laughs> Okay, if we had two honorable mentions, who would that be? Two honorable mentions in Dallas. Mm -hmm. My favorites? Oh, Johnny Damn D. Johnny Damn D. Johnny Damn D. Mention. For sure. I, I wouldn't even say honorable mention. No, Johnny it's Damn all D. it can be. You done gave Johnny Damn D was, would be my five if I was. You already no, did so a five. So you cutting off Amaryllis off of your five? Uh, yeah, yeah no, no. You won't get hit over yeah, top of your head. Okay, honorable mention. <laughs> Johnny Damn D. Okay. And, oh, why is in Barrio? Why, that's my guy. Shout out to why is in Barrio. Why is in Barrio? He's I a, even he's have to a for Boss it. Talk 101 I alumni. Be, but I you know that Barrio. whenever I see lists, um, for like the best rappers in in Dallas or whatever, the last time I saw this, I don't remember ever ever seeing Lil Ronnie on that list. They yeah. be leaving Lil Trill Ronnie talk, off the no, list. Trill Talk, the had, we had one time seen Trill Talk do a list, and when he came here, he addressed Trill Talk because Trill Talk no Pill Talk put him at number twenty three. They always be trying to who do that who? shit. Lil Ronnie at number twenty three, and Lil Ronnie had issues with that. Yeah, as he should. <laughs> He's at number twenty three. Ronnie, Ronnie is the most disrespected artist in Dallas history, but he get his respect, but he don't get the real respect that he deserved. Mother be trying to play Ronnie like he like like irrelevant or some shit like nigga Ronnie is that guy for real for real like and I'm not just saying this because it's my partner Ronnie's that guy for real for real well you know Boss Talk recognize him as that ah, guy. for sure that's why you know it's different sure. over here I'm real picky about who I bring over here yeah because I know that the ones who doing that work and he is a worker like yeah, a gonna work just like me yeah that's why i deal with little kiki mm -hmm. i know he gonna work that's why i deal with half pint films because mm -hmm. i know they working yeah. that's the whole game with me when i look at you guys and you be like why well, i hate it on boss talk one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. and rainwater you might want it but rainwater car his whole way like he off this way into this thing like y'all not finna leave me oh, out for sure and everybody i get more calls about rainwater than anybody yeah <laughs> oh no, my god i respect rainwater position because he came from being a manager of somebody to being the face of nigga you know rainwater it's not just he was mo three artists i mean he was mo three manager. manager because a lot of times if a if an artist die like that, the manager, manager just fade away. Right. Yeah. He keeping his name relevant. What else do you think about Rainwater? Gone. I don't you know I don't like Rainwater. Ooh. Niggas know I don't, I don't rock with Rainwater like, that, like but that. But I respect, respect him. him. Yeah, I, respect, the I respect the hustle. You respect the hustle. Respect the hustle. Yeah, and and sure. that's the whole game. Like I, I think know what he be doing. <laughs> no, for sure. And even sometimes I'll be watching the interview, I'll be like, yeah, he be, he be, he be like, telling the truth like a but you know. Who don't tell the truth and tell a little lie in the midst of <laughs> Let's be real. Don't tell a little lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the old guy. Oh, he almost cut you off the list a while ago. Oh, yeah. When you walk Let's, out the room. Hold on, hold on. Turn it. When you walk out the room. Boss talk one on one, nothing to that. Okay. She's ready. He, was <laughs> gonna, he was gonna knock he you off a Johnny Damn D. And, and, it's, oh. and, and it's almost like, don't even, don't even bring me on here to meet my friends and play with me. Man, get don't it. Don't ever. Get it. First of all, let's, 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 Got let's, a hundred let's guns, say a hundred straight. clips. Exactly. Nigga, I'm, I'm from, New up, York. from New York. <laughs> Up. Let's start at the fact that I'm one of few female artists that writes my music. All right, let's. You feel it. what I'm saying? Let's start there. Let's wow. start at the fact that I can actually write. I can engineer. I can produce. I can creative direct. Ooh. I can do makeup. I can do hair. Don't ever, shit. ever, ever, Don't ever cut sleep. Cut me out the list when Don't I go out the room. Don't ever sleep on me like I'm this ordinary bitch. Pop your shit. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Everything else. Yeah, everything else Boss gone. Boss talk one-on-one after two. Fast <laughs> forward, nigga. We can get back to the regular stuff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I kind of killed everything. Do we have anything else? 
Um, how can people get a hold of you? They trying to reach out. Um, on Instagram at official Amaryllis. On TikTok, I am Amaryllis. Is my TikTok. Um, what's my Twitter? Amaryllis seven one eight. Right, that's my Twitter. Um, yeah, Apple Music as Amaryllis. So yeah, tap in, get right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Same question, man. Y'all know how to to find me, nigga. It's me, <laughs> nigga. Find me. Wow. Type in the name that you see in the head of the goddamn video, nigga. It's right here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. There nigga, it type it. Up. Nigga, it type pop. it in. Nigga, you it know pop. me, nigga. It's a half fight, fat pipe film, bitch. Bow. No meaning. Man. <laughs> Man, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank yeah. both of y'all. You did a great job. This is Boss Talk 101, man, and you are family. You officially family. You know, you here. You made it. To be honest with you, it's a thing that I take real pride in, bringing the right people on this show, rocking with the right people, but the work has to complement the fact that you come on the show. Yeah. And that, that just means staying consistently doing what, we, what yeah. you got to do. You know what I mean? We don't come out here and we don't see hardly any posts. It's a bunch of people. I got lives, too. Yeah, you put I have yeah. lives. They give them the opportunity and they just... Well, how much time? Squandering. Think about it. You put a lot of money and invested into what you're doing. You go everywhere. You're going and dealing with the dopest people. And then you just want me to just take it somewhere else? Mm. Shout out to OTCU, man. On the Come Up podcast is hard as hell. And that's on my new up. show, OTCU. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, oh, okay. You just see yeah, a little run it. Everybody on there. And Half Pint, you got to get on there. Right, I need to be there. What do you uh, It's where, here. That? We do it here. It's on the other side of that wall. <laughs> that's the whole game. You know, I got two girls that do it. Okay. Uh, shout out to Reality TV and Terry Cherry. Mm -hmm. they ask the questions the people want to know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and when you see that little running, when you know what I'm talking about, you need some damn food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't dropped out none. I'm trying to build them up. I built up to about what 20, 20 mm -hmm. to 25. I want to just make it to where when I bring them, they're going to just pop, 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 pop. Because they're not yeah. long interviews. No, nah, yeah. they okay. may be about Short. 20 Short. minutes at, at, at most. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what makes me good. Content, trying that's what makes me good. Trying to make sure people yeah. get to see it in its yeah. best, best way, you know? Yeah, but lot. thank you guys for coming on the show, man. Listen, man, it's all love. We love y'all for coming, man. I know you know we mom and pop in this thing over here, right? Auntie and unk, and what they call them? Right, I want my auntie to be Jamaican. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get your chicken. There's a food right there. Jeez. Auntie and unk, we in the building. We ain't going nowhere. As long as y'all show us love, we gonna give you love back. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One on One. Yeah. Boss Talk. Yeah. Hold on. I got a question. Make sure, I got a question. Make sure you make sure you get. This next comment, this next clip, right? Mm -hmm. The next clip coming is the best clip coming. <laughs> it's that boy, Half Pint. He said something, you, you want to see this next one? Check it, man. <laughs> I got a question first. Mm -hmm. For New York, New York women are always so... Aggressive? Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> and so, mm -hmm. you Let's know, talk about it. boisterous, oh, aggressive, God. all of that. Mm -hmm. But in a relationship... Well, you're not supposed to be wearing the pants. So how does that work? You're supposed to be the submissive one, the let the man lead, all of that. But if New York women are like this, how how does that work? We are as soft as a marshmallow in a relationship. Really? The only time we get hard is if someone try to beat on our mom or our best friend or when our Philly cheesesteak ain't right or if somebody ain't make that direct deposit when they said they was going to make the deposit and shit like that. So you but don't try to run a relationship? No. I feel like I feel like this. If there's something I'm clearly good at at the relationship, if, it, if I'm better at the business side or the money side or the talking side or whatever it is, I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to diminish your role as a man. No. I'm just well, going to... Well, first of all, ain't nobody going to let you do that. Yeah. No, not no real man. Anyway, yeah. don't come up here Jamaican or New Yorkian. We not for <laughs> first the place. Of all, <laughs> first of all, relax. First of all, relax. Real nigga, real nigga, real nigga podcast. Real nigga on business. <laughs> real nigga podcast. Real nigga on business. <laughs> first of all, relax to both of y'all. Before y'all both leave here single. <laughs> hey, y'all gonna be calling. Boy, he gonna be on the couch tonight. <laughs> man, it's cool. So I'll leave you. Why you on the couch? I'll just go in there on my own. I don't even need your chance to do that kind of shit to me. Me. Right, I go, I go, I go, go, go somewhere. I always do that. I'm working all the time. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. We work. Actually, she's up when I'm asleep. I'm asleep when she's so up. This, look, I got a real question for y'all. This ain't got to be an interview. How the f 
Do y'all stay consistent with the content? Like, that shit is hard, ain't it? It's hard as hell. That's, that's, that's me. That's it. Me and you. That's it. It's we don't have nobody else. else. Bro, we don't have nobody else. And you know, else. as hard as it is, it, it is, and as, you know, we push out this stuff like we do, we feel like we need to be doing more. more. Man. Because, that's it everywhere, though. But because that's we need to be everywhere. doing more. Y'all understand work ethic, though. Put it in this shit way. Everywhere. Put it this way. Like I told him, and you know, we just say whatever. This is how boss talk is. Whatever. I told him. I said, I need a, um, I need a housekeeper. I need a this. I need a that. So that all I can do is sit down and it's concentrate content, yeah. on, you know, editing. I, I edit the full interviews. He do the clips. But then we need to still work on the reels and all this other Man, stuff. And lot. I do the full clips. I don't have, we don't have time. People in Africa and people in Europe that's helping me. And then posting them. I don't feel like it's a lot when you want it though. No, but you have you to. Know what I'm no, but it's then a lot. you still gotta no, deal with taking care of house kids. No, no, I doing get this, you. Doing I, that. I have a cleaning lady, so I get what you're saying. <laughs> but it's about the fact that I feel like if you want it and you're not putting no foot forward. You can't say it's hard. Right. Just, I'm going to be honest say with you. Hard, it's bro. a lot of people that drop a lot of footage. But Boss Talk has dropped every a single day and for that's the what, last three years. That's what I know. It's only y'all. And you popping. So. And you popping. I know y'all work And you popping, though. Hard. Yeah, and we, and you we do everything <laughs> ourselves. That proves my point, Boss Talk. I don't want nothing. I do that shit myself. Man, you could be over here all the time. It's Keep on playing. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. We can't. You can hire people to it's do it, awful. but at the same time, you yeah, don't want to. They don't ever do it. Because because they don't do it. That proves we that. They don't do it why you want it to look. It's all. Exactly. Work. So it don't make no sense. Or they're not as go, consistent as you are. Or they complain they too much. Or they this and they that. You know what I mean? They're not going to treat it like it's their own business. Exactly. So, so I, don't don't really, I don't even be wanting to deal with nobody. I got a couple of people I rely mm -hmm. on. One guy's in trial period right now, which he's really trying to be a part of, but he ain't hard enough. You got so y'all do y'all own thumbnails and shit? Everything. Everything. See, that's that's a that's a full time job. Everybody. It takes time, but bro, that's it takes a time. A lot of job. people have a yeah. full time job. When you're passionate about Correct. something, you have to act as such. I feel like if you really want something to pop. Every adjustment you make is not like, oh, this is a lot of work. This shit, I'm gonna do this shit because this need to get me to hit. No, yeah. no, it needs, to get me to be, it needs to be done and you gonna do it. But yeah. when you see that I could be producing this much more if I had help. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and our kids do it too. My daughter they do Brown the reposting. My daughter in Brown. Oh, yeah. yeah. She yeah. do it in Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever yeah. living yeah. rent free yeah. got a repost. Yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. camera. Yeah. So yeah, all they, they do is repost Reposting stuff. everything it's all day long. They get paid for that. You talking about like on Instagram? Instagram. Oh, what's, the what's, the the what's, the what's the magic word you just said? What's the magic word you just said? Boss Talk paid. 101, not the two. What you just said? I just said it, they constantly repost. What else you said? Well, I don't know. What did I they say? They get paid for They get that. paid for They getting paid. Yeah, they get paid for <laughs> that part right there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one. My daughter, yeah, she <laughs> checked up out of money. Uh, what was that? When we was Saturday, because we were out of town. I didn't pay them on time. I need my money. They come, Mama. Where's my money? Um, yeah, said, yeah. I'm not out of town. Right. Hold on, I'm getting to it. Oh, out of town, no got nothing to do with business, mommy. They need that. They need that mommy, payroll. Mommy, I'm trying to go on fashion over, they mommy. Both, yeah, they <laughs> my daughter, boy, in, up in Rhode Island, she ain't playing no games about that. You feel me? Yeah, 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 I wouldn't yeah. either. Yeah, so that's why that's job, uh, prime real. time is up to forty five thousand. That's Shout what out. they deal with. Subscribe. The they time. do prime time, which you like, you just watching boss talk, but we got prime time, and that's another channel. Yeah, the boss talk one on one prime time. time. I about to say also we need it's to be introduced to all channels. channels. Yeah, yeah, I have and a lot of where, and that's where um, y'all yeah, have a lot of stuff on that we need too. to get on and understand all oh, yeah, the other yeah, stuff yeah, y'all yeah. got we, going on. We about to we about to get y'all on. Uh, OTCU where everybody be talking. It's gonna be dope, mm -hmm. and that back wall over there is about to be something else. We just gonna continue to work. Yeah, one on one prime time. Prime time. Yeah, it's always that's what they posting shorts at all times over there. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's okay, why a lot okay. of people gonna get to it's gonna be like a network. So oh, okay. Can this I is ask like you that's a why question? it's gonna be network. Jamaica? I'm building it up with the shorts right now, but it's gonna be a network station yeah. where everybody can go on. Yeah, you know it's a lot I mean? of um our old content, but it also has um like new content as in like with the OTCU is gonna be on there. Skits. Skits gonna be on there. Any film, you know, stuff like that is gonna be on there too. Yeah. That's not gonna be on there. So we just started really taking that one serious uh the end of last year mm -hmm. and it's about to go down. 
But yeah. go ahead. And it's okay, legitimate subscribers because I got it from a legitimate source. <laughs> Thank God. Who is that nigga? Because I'm tired yeah, of this. Man, I'm yeah. tired of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the legit? Hold say, on. I'll let you most make of up. them are, all of those subscribers are mostly based on the West Coast. LA. Okay. I, I don't give a damn if they based in Japan. Long as they were real. real. I'm people, so tired yeah, of these fake people. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been to Jamaica. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's the last question. It's the last you know, question. Hello. Yes. <laughs> no, but I had to ask this because Yella. I went to Jamaica and I loved it so much. When I went to Jamaica, because I love Rihanna, I dipped a little bit of my mango in the sea. You know what okay. I'm saying? That's I up. dipped that bitch in the salt and I was Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then me, I had to know. My biggest thing is when I went to Jamaica, I enjoyed the hospitality mm-hmm. of them. And I wanna know, like, what do you feel like Jamaica has to offer to this type of scene as it pertains to hospitality, good time, music, dance hall. I think there's a big opportunity in Dallas for that. There's not a lot of knowledge on dance hall. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was coming up in New York, we had a Brooklyn dance hall queen. That bitch would get on her head and spin like a (laughs) b-boy. I thought that bitch head was going to be on fire when Mm -hmm. she got up. So what do you? Because you have way more. You have way more um, Jamaicans in, uh, like I said, New York, Miami. So you're gonna have that. Right here, Texas is so big and spread out. Mm-hmm. It's a culture there thing. is a there is a large um, Caribbean community here because they have like association, um, association DWI, UI um, Dallas West Indies Association. Okay, and they have it in all over the the world Houston actually. Houston. But to me, like Houston, Caribbean people are way more together to me because yeah. then they always have, there's a festival that happens in Houston, I think once a year. And everybody I know from Dallas drive down for the, because they bring in all the artists and everybody down there and they perform and it, it's a big thing. I know they have, um, that they had started the carnival here in Dallas. So they had that. Every year as well, but the turnout is getting bigger every year, but it's still not as big as we would like it to yeah. be, like in Houston. So it's just that they're starting to try to bring Understand people together. The culture. Bringing people together to do this once a year, but, you know, they got to make money. You know what I mean? Right. If they're not making the type of money to keep it going, then it's it's not, it's going to flop, so. Well, okay. shout out to uh, Daily Ranks. We just uh, interviewed yeah. in at ATL. In ATL. Grammy Award winning Daily Ranks. Let me, let me, let me do this for <laughs> The nigga didn't just come and see us, but, but a lot of people don't know who Dela Ranks is because but when he, he came, didn't want the big, big popularity, you know, fame like the Sean Paul and stuff like that. Because he does do a lot of writing and. Pass stuff talk like. one no one. Oh shit! Pass talk one no one. Pass talk one no one. Wow! Where the boss is stop. This is the podcast with the boss talk. Official Miss Jamaica make it start. This is the boss talk with the boss talk. CEO make it start. Yeah. We're not dead poor. We're not yeah. dead poor. Yeah. Boss talk of the best podcast in the world. We're not dead poor. Yeah. We're not dead poor. Subscribers get the latest no for sure. Create content every day. I'm Tech Safri Lock Long J. On YouTube, we have the best display. Interview rappers on the he got a Grammy with Sean Paul. He did yeah, a lot of Mavado. He did Mavado. He did a lot of different stuff. Yeah, he'll be he did, you know, in the car. It, it's, it's all about <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Google <laughs> Daddy Ranks. He's been doing it a long time. Google him. Him, Luton Fire. We got some dope people that be on post talk. What the? It's bigger than just. We what we doing in Dallas? I'm telling you. Now, I know. See, that, that's another <laughs> thing about y'all. Y'all, you you're a little older, so you know the legends. Like you know the oh, motherfuckers yeah. with the stories. Oh for yeah. Real. So yeah. that's yeah, that's good. Cool. Even bringing on no young no, niggas. No, no, no. They ain't got nothing to talk they, about. You I know. On. I bring young niggas on. His name is Half Pint and Lil Run. Right, but we, <laughs> I, we got young niggas. We got a story no, no, to tell. Yeah, but y'all still younger than a lot of the for older sure. cats I'm bringing for on. Sure. I bring on OG Byru. Yeah. And it's but serious. Shit. He said Michael Jackson died in nineteen years in the game. That's a that's a long time. Oh yeah, y'all of course. I'm an OG too. Like that boss talk one on one song hard. It Where the f- I stream that shit? <laughs> it's ours, but we gotta put it on the machine. And put it, it, once I put it on there, load it. Playing so, oh, yeah. Play I just shit. got it like two days ago. And why is it not uploaded? <laughs>
<laughs> it's all the questions that I have right well, now. He didn't, but he see, he didn't, he didn't even realize that, 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 that didn't even said Boss Talk. That's another thing, he too. He said her name and my name. And said, I, I was just proving to him. You see, I'm trying to build. I'm okay, trying good. to We're trying to build it where we can have. He don't know yet. It's only been a couple months. We're trying to build it where we have more listeners from Jamaica, from places who will understand. Even although we interviewed Delhi Ranks, in the interview, as much as he's speaking, he wasn't talking like a lot of pats or nothing like that. But because of his dialect, in my mind, I'm like, will people they listen, will they understand yeah. what no, he's saying? No, no. You know, we're going to sit put up, but they're not going to understand they're everything. They're not going to understand. So it's yeah. like, with that, we, you don't get like get a lot of audience. views yeah. in the we, audience. We ride in the car and that should say, pool party. <laughs> Popcorn coming on and on. And he's just <laughs> in that bitch like. <laughs> exactly. I, I, don't I, 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 I feel the vibe. I feel the vibe. I feel the So it's like. But you need to listen to Daddy Rank's video because then that one thing he did break down. Um, okay, like how in up here they do like a lot of beats and stuff like that with mm-hmm. the music. Mm-hmm. Jamaica, they talk more about rhythm, rhythm, mm-hmm. this and whatever. And you see, he broke down why. Okay, they'll create one rhythm. Rhythm is the same thing as beat, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But they call it like juggling and st- stuff like that. But difference is like. They'll make a beat, and, and they'll have, That's they'll hard have like spot. example, Yellow Beezy go on that beat. Um, um, you have about five, six different people on the same beat, and it's not a problem. Yeah. Here, no, this beat is only for me. Yeah, one person. Yeah. One person, but he talk about the reason why yeah, they do it. Down. And how they all succeed in doing it. They yeah. use the same yeah. beat and come out the same time. It's not do it. the same scene. It's like in America, everything got to be so exclusive. Yeah, not In the there. Caribbean they and in, in Central America and shit, where my parents are from, it's like, nigga, we could all make the same song on the same beat and we yeah, not beef with each other. Yeah. We won't beef. We might all get they booked all together. To yeah. We all going to get booked together and we going to ride in America, beers. right? <laughs> That's the American shit, bro. Start looking at the percentages and how it break down and how much you get off the song. Motherfucker, start do, stop doing acting songs, funny. Yeah, 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 acting yeah. funny. Once the percentages kick in, don't want to do no features. Once they see it, you got to split that shit with every nigga you put this, put on the song. Niggas be like, shit, I'm doing something. What you think about C Four S, man? I love C Four S. They active. Okay. They active. They still active, man. Everywhere I feel like everywhere I go, we run C Four S. When we was in Vegas, uh, C Four S is stanky leg. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. bitch! Hold <laughs> on, bitch! <laughs> that, you lied to him. See, everywhere lie we him. go, we run into C4S. They, they was in active. Vegas with us. I yeah. love them. They be everywhere. They be. They, well, they, I, they, they I didn't see them in Vegas. I they called me. Them. My people seen them. Yeah. They yeah. seen them both on shirts. They called me. They were like, nice. man. They were like, man. What you mean? That's my people. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they be dancing in there. That's what I'm saying. They dancing. They dancing in there. We cutting up in there. I'm telling man, you, let me tell you, tell you something. I interview a lot of people. One of the people. first videos, like, like the matter of fact, no, the first video that I shot for for a big artist was Old Boy Prince. Really? Yes. This was like my fifth video I ever shot in my life was Old Boy Prince and Southside. And it was a hit song that they had at the time called Hands on Your Knees. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I know the song. Yeah, I wasn't even a good cameraman or nothing then. This was just, we was connected off of my brother and shit like that. He tell all the stuff he need to tell. Yeah. Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. he has a lot of stories. I got stories. a lot of shit to think. tell. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to tell. You just got to ask the right questions the right time. Yeah. But so you was, see how, was, how, was, you see how young, weird shit young, put it, though? Young yeah. old boy Prince versus the one we Same nigga. Here. Same nigga. Exact same nigga. Except for, I mean, back then he was doing the dancing with his pop. Did you know all of the people in the group? Did you know all of the people in the group? Like yeah, 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 and and, and the GS boys, yeah, 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 I knew all. Okay, of them. well, why when they when they went on BET years ago, it was five, but when they came back this last time, there were four. Also, going on one after two. Going. That's because Prince on his own wave now. The no, other no, 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 he was with him. It was another nigga when, that I interviewed on, went, the, on the BET award. On, who else was there with him? Probably Southside. If anybody, if Southside was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was four. It was that four. other guy. What's that his name? DK, 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 DK didn't get to go. DK Mark wasn't there this last DK game. DK didn't get to go. DK man. was the only one that went there? Yeah. I mean, hey. Why he didn't go? Say nobody called him. Oh. We got to talk to Boy Prince about this. about when they were the BT Awards? <laughs> yes, this last he time. He wasn't there. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know if they got going into it. I interviewed him over here. I didn't just leave him out. Is that but you ain't put it out. No, I didn't do oh, that. that. Oh, that was a It was bad. Foolish. I don't think that's, that's why they left him off the BT award. If the, if the interview wasn't worth putting out, what made you think he worth going to the BT award? He's going through stuff. 
He's Stop. going through it. <laughs> Listen. He's going through it. I know. I, I don't know. get us canceled. I ain't gonna get us canceled talking about DK, but DK, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what their problem is, but shit, they, shit, they made classic music together. They definitely did that stanky leg, but it, DK, on the interview, I will tell you this much. The group was an R&B group at first, and DK was the lead singer. That was not an R&B group at he first. He said it was. DK said it was. Man, I was there. He said he was the lead of they brought group. it down. They, they did. They was they making R and B music. Down, they was making R and B music with down full down way and shit. And they got with Young Jock. They put him way in the back. You, you can't even see him in the video with Young Jock and him down there. That Man, man. that's his fault. He <laughs> busted in the mouth. You gotta, you gotta claim your moment. You gotta claim your moment, he bro. He did I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this. I've that's been knowing. He said it over here. I've been knowing the GS boys since Man. the very yeah. well, you beginning. Put it out, oh. but this out now. Nah, I'm gonna put it out. I've been knowing the GS boys since the very little. beginning, bro. <laughs> DK was never the star. He was never the guy that people pay attention to. It he was Prince was and Southside. <laughs> Southside was really the star of the group. Because DK was the only one who sang, though, right? He Probably sung so. over here. I it guess. was beautiful song. Well, that's what I'm saying. They singing songs See, wasn't the song knows. that was... She didn't even know who old boy Prince was. So. I didn't. You did? Mm -hmm. I didn't. You did you do she knew the song? Yeah, she knew the song. She knew the song. Okay, I knew the song. I was in the studio. What song were you? Were you recording? We was recording. Bro no, was it wasn't Broke Broke Boy? Boy. no, it wasn't Broke Boy. It was another song after Broke yeah. Boy. But he was in the studio, and this happens to me a lot. How much does it happen to me where I don't know somebody's famous? Yeah, and they just sitting there. Damn, I yeah. never. That's my neighbor. It's make sure everything <laughs> good with my house. Go. <laughs> Keep going. But I never know when people are famous. That's part of my problem. Boss Talk 101, not the two. This is exclusive. I never know when people are famous. Yeah, she don't never know. And that's good. I don't. These I niggas swear don't need to, to be acting like that. <laughs> You I know, don't. Thank God for you. I don't. Listen, thank God for me. Yeah, because I don't want to know him. If you're acting famous, you, you will never ever see me bow down like I. Like you famous, yeah. I'm not doing that. No, bow down to the fact. I respect people. I but respect people need the to be hustle. treated like people, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And they respect you more when you do that. But also, too, it's so, like, bro, you got the same blood I got. You got the same hustle I got. I'm not about to. Eight hours. What the you think I'm going to do? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We, we put in the same work. You might get paid more than I do, but we put in the same work. So me knowing who you are is not going to make a difference. You feel what I'm saying? That's 100% true. But I don't be knowing who niggas is. Pine would say, you don't know who the fuck that is? That's what happened with the stinky like guy. He said, you don't know who the fuck that is? And then so now I'm like, oh shit. That's right? Him. I like that song. That's him. Right? That's my guy. So I start bringing out my best leg. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is usually my left. Jamia Khan, my left leg like that. Good, good, good. No, he didn't. Is he cooking? No, he just being nosy. I'll get your ass. <laughs> nosy ass Karen's. Anyway, so I brought my best leg, right? So I'm like, I don't know this nigga, but. And you put I know that that Shit, I know that the thing. Thing. They hit that on BET Awards without DK just. I thought he went by himself. It was, it was off. It was four of them. All of them was at that BET Awards. He, yeah. damn, what year was this? Last year. Last year. They had Dallas Cowboys. Ah, they had when? jerseys on and everything. Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty three. He performed at the BET Awards. Really? Yeah. Yes. That's terrible. I don't know. Yeah, that was. This they was a couple months ago. That's terrible. That no one knows that. Everybody, everybody I mean, know that stuff. You, 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 you just got to be in touch with this shit. <laughs> Bro, Man, Pine, always knew did, that. Pine always did that to me. <laughs> you don't pay attention to shit. Bitch, everybody knows except for you. <laughs> wow. But yeah. Hey, what you got over there going? We finna shut it down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we kicking y'all ass up out of here, man. Hey, man, I've been kicked out of better places. Hey, man. You, got, <laughs> you, you guys are dope, man. Thank you guys for coming on Boss Talk 101. It's going to slam. It's been another great segment. I didn't know if it was going to be good, guys. I come in here, I pray. <laughs> Pray for all the people to come on Boss Talk, and I say, God, let these people come in here and kill it. And these guys did. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talking.